Uh. <laughs> I think that may have been the first thing oh. we heard. Oh, well, that was. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to. Oh, that was so good. Welcome to TKMR Gaming. We're playing some tabletop. I'm Dran. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> Our GM today is S. Ferris, and we've got Bex, uh, Magatsu, and Kiuna. Which and, you just heard. Yep. And we're playing Star Wars, the Saga edition, I think it is. Saga edition, yeah. It's going to be cool. Um, okay, so um, do you guys want to do a character intro or, or no? Uh, yeah, okay. Will I go first or? I'll go first. I'm Bell Solari. I play. Not Bell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why do I keep saying Fel? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm like, I, oh, no, I keep name. shrekking up my own name. Yeah. You should just bar? change your name to Val, because no, oh, Val is your nickname. Val is short for Bar. No, hold on. <laughs> it's the Asian it. version. It's like Indian. <laughs> I think I know because it's in my uh, bio for some reason, and that's Val? weird. Yeah, I need to learn to type, I guess. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, Far Solari, a Keldor Jedi, Padawan. Uh, what else? 23 years old. I can see your character sheet, can I? Uh, there we go. He has a lot, yeah, you could see the bio. People can pause and read though, if they want. It's a lot to read, but. It's always a lot to read. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't, I don't have any like uh, height and weight and shit because I didn't write that in. Doesn't really matter, I guess, so. Uh, Keldor doesn't care about that. He's a Jedi, so you know, who knows? He's got a green lightsaber. <laughs> Ben is probably got a showing longer... a picture of what he's supposed to look yeah, like. Yeah, I'm just so. scrolling for the text right now. They can pause it right. if they want to. But yeah. this has gotten like twice as long as it was when <coughs> you sent it to me. <laughs> I write books, man, when I do character background. You're showing me up, man. I, I've I've not wrote, written anymore since uh, I sent you it. Okay. I want to just draw my lightsaber. That's your lightsaber. I drew it. <laughs> Good Lord, right. I'm a lightsaber. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Uh, my name is... character's name is Tomax Duran. Uh, I'm a Zabrak Jedi. Uh, yeah, that's about all I have with my character, actually. Yeah, we actually know each other. From, like, school. Yeah, we're both Jedi from, uh, Academy. Yeah, Jedi school. Yeah, Jedi Academy stuff. Yeah. For a long, long time already. What color is your lightsaber? Teal. Teal, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? God damn it! He just made up a new color. <laughs> a new lightsaber color. Special gems. <laughs> Special I know, edition. Dude, he like the matcha crystal. crystal. Uh, matcha crystal. Special edition. Yeah. Limited oh, edition, I should say. Only one in the world. How, wait, how did you even get that color? Like, I can't even see it in the text in the color palette. Did you custom do it? Yeah, custom I did. probably. No, it, it just happened to be that when I started. I haven't changed anything. Oh, wait, you can do custom colors? I didn't even know. No, I don't. Well, I can't select. Yeah, I don't see his color. John's in color in things. I don't know how he got that color. <coughs> I, think... I didn't even know you could select colors, so. Yeah, you can uh, type in your own. So. The power of my time. Oh, uh, what? I've just assumed Machan the whole time that those. Color. Like. Awesome. 30 Rain colors or whatever the are the only ones. <laughs> Right, well, I just can't find your color, so that's like, <laughs> that's close you get. <laughs> right, the droid. Oh, uh. I was sitting there thinking, who's a droid? That's me. Um, yeah, I play LS01 or LS01, and it is a prototype security droid where. The, the the prototype testing it went horribly wrong because his uh, heuristic processor or its heuristic processor had been installed incorrectly and it was faulty and as a result he's not very good at following orders and as a result of this um, it basically killed off the, the lab researchers who were uh, working on him and it then escaped it became a uh, um, like a bodyguard unit for like a crime lord before it was uh, before that hideout was raided by Mike's old master and I was given to Mike's character as a gift and yeah so I'm a security guard him a killer yeah, well, the biggest question is is the droid an AI 
What do you mean is it an AI? Can it think for its own? Um, well, that's kind of what the heuristic processor does, yes. Somebody so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Basically, that bad guy from Robocop. <laughs> <This guy. laughs> yep. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, it just shoots things. All right, it doesn't have a. Yeah, it <laughs> creates its own thoughts. All right, so it's not an AI. Yeah, so that's Ellis. And then Mr. Bigglesworth. Uh, Bigglesworth was in a crime syndicate dealing with illegal smug or illegal smuggling operations. I specializing in you know illegal substances, and Bigglesworth wanted a bigger cut. They were like, no. So he killed everyone in the, his group and is on the run. What? What kind of what? Ewok does that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ewoks are nice. <laughs> okay, Ewoks that's gotta cool. make money for the family, man. It's a thug Ewok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ewok. This is, this is uh, inner city Ewok. <laughs> pretty much. He raised up in like the... In like the the bad side of Nar Shaddaa, man. Like yeah. this Ewok seen some shit. <laughs> Fuck life uh, chosen. You know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he's pretty he's pretty rough. And then uh, I guess, well, Mike didn't write me in, but I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I guess Mike was on a mission in Nar Shaddaa to do something, and he came across me. Oh, okay. But. You're a talk we... Ewok. Why would a Jedi go with a talk Ewok? Because you've never seen a talking Ewok before. You're like, whoa, no, it no, talks. No. Not talking. Oh man, I'm gonna need my binary translator. Oh, a thug Ewok? <laughs> Yo, because you're like, you have well, to study him. You thought it'd be like he, Brian he... from Family Guy. Bro, like, <laughs> you, you could be making history studying <clears throat> how a thug Ewok, like, you know, interacts with its surroundings. You could be making Jedi history right here. Oh, sure. Yeah, maybe you need to <laughs> document it in the, the Jedi... Uh, yeah, in the Jedi archives. Archives, right? yeah. Uh, yeah, so another thing that... Oh, you can switch to your character chat mode. Oh, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Forgot about um, that. LS01. Uh, his voice component uh, is broken, and yeah. so sometimes he will speak in binary only. Yep. And other times he'll be able to get out sentences, and it's going to be on Var Solari to work his way eventually towards getting enough money and parts to fix his um, droid. Droid. Yeah. Okay. His, yeah. So for now, he's essentially Bumblebee from the first <laughs> It's almost kind of funny because yeah, kind of like Bumblebee. I, yeah, it's funny because if Mike is trying to l save up money to repair him, I'm a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you are. Oh, you pick. I, you also went for mechanic skills. See, none of I, these guys picked mechanics, so I basically had to spec into it like really heavily in order to repair myself. Uh, well, uh, oh yeah, you know, your mechanic is. Actually, no, it's, it's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm a I'm mechanic, stealth, you, survival, Your int is computer. like the lowest one, though. That's what mechanics is. But it's, it's, also, it's still positive, so. Yeah. What's, what's you your I mean, mechanic I, set? I, mean, I, I can get away with it, though. It's a skill, isn't it? Yeah, it's a I'm skill, only at, yeah. I'm only at plus six modifier. Ah, uh, okay, I'm at plus 11. Because I took focus as well. Holy crap. That, okay. was a, that was the How feat many I took. Do we do? It, it, it just reminds me in the scene. Uh, you get um, zero to start with. I took focus as a, as a feat, my starting feat. Oh, okay. Um, so I got it an extra plus five. It reminds me of Cold War 2 when you're trying to repair the droid. Yep. And you just fiddle <laughs> with it. Alright, go okay. on, Josh. Uh, so, um, the two Jedis in the group... Uh, uh, oh, I'll, I'll fix it. HP bar? Oh, oh, okay. Well, you have to put in some numbers, actually. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, okay. um, so the two Jedi Padawans in the group um, have uh, 
currently different masters, but for the moment, their both of their masters were called into emergency um, quests from the Jedi Council, and temporarily, the two Jedi's, uh, Varsalari and Tomax, um, have been reassigned to follow Jedi General Mitra Surik, uh, who is this person right here. She is a Jedi Master as well as General in the Republic military. The year is currently 3960 before the Battle of Yavin and um, you are currently um, 16 years into the Mandalorian War. Uh -oh. Oh. Ah snaps! What, what happened was it was essentially a brief period of peace right after the Great Sith War and you yeah. thought things were going to be um, a slow peaceful time where everyone was rebuilding because the war was pretty bad and devastated everyone uh, but no um, the Mandalorian War started with with the two um, Sith uh, leaders uh, convincing the Mandalorians to wage a heavy war across the entire um, galaxy and essentially right now um, you the Jedi Order so far has maintained their neutrality um, and have convinced most of the Jedi Order to refrain from um, engaging in any intervention whenever there is a conflict between the Mandalorians and the Republic Army. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, and other things that you need to know right now is that the current Mandalore, meaning the current leader of um, the Mandalorian uh, uh, tribe, is Cassus Fett. Okay. <clears throat> And um, a couple of significant things is that uh, he comes from the very well-known FET line, um, but if uh, he were to somehow be able to be killed, uh, who, the person who defeats him would be able to assume as leader of the Mandalores and perhaps uh, be able to stop this war. Um, and. Uh, uh, bring peace back to uh, the galaxy. Um, being as you are uh, away from your normal training and LS and Mr. Bigglesworth, you guys just kind of follow the two Jedi around because they actually have um, pretty strict obligations in terms of their trainings and you just kind of go along with whatever the, mas the Jedi Masters tell the Padawans to do. Um, you have been ordered by Mitra Surik um, to accompany her on um, her latest mission, which is to... to visit uh, the planet of Malachor um, and to provide assistance. The planet of Malachor is an interesting location because um, Mitra Surik was specifically told by Revan, uh, the the Jedi, I think he's a knight at the time, he's not a master yet. Yeah. He's a Jedi, the Jedi Knight, Revan, um, that he needs as much assistance as... <laughs> not see, five. Um, he, he needs as much assistance as possible. Uh, as he uh, intends to confront the Mandalorian army and hopefully end this war once and for all. Um, this is an interesting situation because prior to this, the Jedi Order has been very um, adamant about not intervening in, in this um, conflict as they feel it's none of their business as they kind of have a higher order of um, things to answer to and priorities um, in life. So, but what's going on right now is with uh, Mitra Surik, your, your 
current Jedi Master being also a part of the Republic, um, she has decided uh, of her own will that she is taking her um, squadron, uh, all of the troops that she commands, both Jedi and non-Jedi, to Malachor to assist Revan in this battle because she feels um, it could be a pivotal point uh, in the Mandalorian War. Uh, currently you guys are on Mitra Surik's ship and you are um, about to um, enter um, light speed to travel over to Malakor. It is your instructions from Revan that you are to meet up at a certain time uh, which you have programmed into the, uh, the ship's uh, navigation system and uh, at a certain point, uh, you guys, the uh, Re Republic um, fleet will all convene uh, at a rendezvous point and essentially ambush the Mandalorian army, which is uh, has, uh, based on scouting reports, been known to hang outside uh, Malachor um, for unknown reasons. Okay. Um, prior to uh jumping to light speed you guys um get a update transmission signal from one of the scout ships uh already from the republic scout ship already in malachor and you see that this is the current state outside the planet Ooh. um it is heavy oh, battle dude. um Space combat. it's already started it appears and uh so Upon seeing this, uh, Mitra uh, orders immediate um, jump of activation of the hyperdrive and you guys fly off at light speed. Wait, we're not, uh, we're not helping out? You guys are on the ship, so you guys are all going together. Yeah. Right. But you guys enter, yeah. We jumped that? away from the battle though, right? No, you guys are not there. You're jumping to there. Okay, right, okay. You gotcha. were supposed to meet up there, but apparently, based on the scouting information, that everything kind of started early. You're not right, sure okay. why, um, but now you're jumping there to get there as quick as you guys can to assist in the battle. Gotcha. So essentially, you guys are late to the show. Uh, any questions at this point? No. Oh, this okay, sounds good. so familiar. <laughs> Should be very familiar. Um, you guys are now exiting hyperdrive, uh, light speed, uh, outside of um, Malachor. And this scene that you see right now is exactly this uh, identical to the scattering report that you saw momentarily. And um, it is just chaos everywhere. There are Republic ships, um, there are Mandalorian ships, they're all firing against each other above the planet. Um, it's hard to make out who's winning if there is an advantage uh, from either side. It's hard to make out even um, in the state of all the chaos and explosions that uh, who's even shooting at what and where are the um, sides and boundaries of the forces. It, it's it's a complete mess. Uh, ships are scattered all over the place. There's no um, identifiable formation at all, uh, which is something you would normally expect from at least the Republic because they have, uh, they should have higher training than that. But right now, it's just a complete mess, and it's it's a complete um, scrappy dogfight in space. Um, at this point, um, Mitra goes to. Um, Tomax, uh, he goes to the entire, all four of you guys, and orders you to board a uh, one of the boarding ships. And he asks you, sorry, she asks you to um, lead one of the assault forces on the Mandalorian flagship, which is this flagship right here. I'm going to circle it. This one right here that's under heavy fire. Um, you guys uh, board onto an assault ship uh, with uh, 20 other uh, Republic soldiers and um, if you choose to do so, yeah, immediately uh, will depart um, for 
an onboard uh, launch party onto the Mandalorian flagship. Do you guys go? Sure. Do Do I fly? Uh, no, you you do not fly. You guys are preparing for oh, man, um, fly. assault, immediate <laughs> deboarding assault. What are the other right. options? Is, are there other options? Uh, your other okay. options are to not go and not obey your command. Oh, well, I'm obeying the oh, order. We should up. not go and, like, uh, set up a casino. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sure we can find On a burning ship? Sounds good. I am yeah. walking in boarding ship. You walk into the boarding ship. Everyone, does yeah. everyone follow? Okay. Everyone yeah, follows the board. Okay. Uh... Hold on, let me just set up your Does arcanes. the tug <laughs> follow? <laughs> the what? Tug. The dog? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why is tug so hard to say? I don't get it. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, you what guys immediately word? get on an assault <laughs> ship, and uh, you head over to the Mandalorian flagship, and you deboard uh, immediately. Blaster's ready. Um, you get on the ship, there are. Oh, oh. Stormtroopers! There are um, Republic forces everywhere and stormtroopers everywhere and they're just uh, fighting um, over this crazy hectic scene. Your mission is to board the ship and find the Mandalorian uh, leader. Um, you know from your preliminary um, briefing that you have to go this way. Uh, these are just um, pod doors that are unlocked, as far as you can tell, and okay. then you need to eventually make your way over to here, as this is okay. uh, uh, the pathway that bridges to the main um, command center of the ship. Um, you know that there are um, several stormtroopers stationed blocking the entrance. Uh, the ones marked in blue are standard stormtroopers, the ones marked in um, green are heavy stormtroopers with blaster rifles with um, burst fire capabilities, and you know that the one in red is a one second is a stormtrooper armed with a repeating blaster mounted at that door. Okay. So they have this area um, very well fortified. Roll initiative. Let's see. Do you have the initiative tracker up? Yes. Oh, there we go. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find my initiative real fast. Make sure you click on your token when you roll it, by the way. Because then it adds you to the turn, turn order automatically. Didn't roll? How do you roll initiative? Or where's the initiative on the, uh... Oh, I see it. Uh, what's the modifier for initiative? Dex? Uh, it should automatically be calculated, it's calculated so don't, in your thing, don't yeah. add an extra modifier. If you hover over the, um, formula, it should show... Yeah, you got a mod of three um, there. Max 20. Wow, the two Jedi's get 20. Cheating? <laughs> the Force is with them. I guess highest uh, Dex goes first, right? No, I'm gonna tell Tomax to go first. Because okay. <laughs> he's the older one, he's the smarter one, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Then you're already... right now. He's my hero, oh, what's so... Our, what's our movement? Uh, I'm gonna tell you in a second. Do you want me to roll open or closed for this? I... I, d I don't mind, to be honest. I'm all, um, I'm all your preference. For closed. Closed? I didn't hear I'm what you said, so... Do you want me to roll open or closed? Oh, I'm voting open. Instantly. Voting closed. I'm going with whatever you prefer. GI. Yeah. <laughs> GI uh, decision. What kind of mutual answer is that? No, I'm serious, because... Oh, am I Because I don't care one way or the other. Oh, so two <laughs> I don't care uh, and an open and closed. <laughs> Josh, you're a tie-breaking vote. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to flip a coin, and <laughs> one is open, two is closed. One closed. Yeah! That oh, one closed. I'm so good at the game. 
<laughs> you know, so, some GMs prefer to roll open, some prefer to close this. I don't care. Nah, I'm, I'm always up for close. What kind of neutral answer is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's really bad roll also on my part. Okay. So <laughs> Stormtroopers <laughs> will go last. Uh, your movement should be on your character sheet. Yeah, mine's just six it squares. Six. It should be six if they're medium, four yeah. if they're small. Yeah. Spaces. I don't see anything. You had to write it in. It was on. It was in the book. Well, what size are you, Mike? You're medium. Yeah. Yes. You're so you're six. probably a six. Yeah. You're six then. Yeah. So under speed six. Yep. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Oh wait, sorry. Um, Mike, you're going second, you said, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Can I, um... How does Force Sensitive work? Does it mean I could reach out with the Force to try to feel... I think it yes. ...where the captain is? Uh, so, so, Force... Well, there's a skill for that. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I have that. Yeah, doesn't the force sensitive just mean that you have the no. ability to use a force? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was being able to feel. No, but there's a specific force skill to. But I will. Um, if you roll yeah, high enough, well, uh, to... if you roll high enough on use the force, I'll I'll, I'll give some some information. To you. <laughs> that will cost you a force point, though. I think. It only costs you a force point to enhance a force power, didn't? It? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you can. I think you can use the force without using a force point. Oh, by the way, don't we start with a destiny point? You all start with one destiny point. You all start with five force points. Oh, uh, let me give you some basics about playing the game. I guess uh, <laughs> it's essentially a d20 game. Um, natural twenties are automatic hit with double damage. Uh, no need to confirm. Um, natural one is an auto miss. Um, Defense is based on your reflex. Uh, um, you'll have reflex, defense, fortitude, defense, will, defense. I'll explain those when you get those. Um, there is no dedicated healer role. You have once per session, you can do something called second wind. When if you're reduced to half HP, you can activate second wind, and this heals a fourth of your HP, rounded down. And you can do this once per day, although there's a feat that lets you do it twice per day. Um, Actually, I'm assuming that as a droid, I don't get second wind, because I think the only way to yes, you don't heal is by wind. repairing. Yes, you have to well, repair. Well, looks yeah. like I have to rely on worth. Oh. Yeah, um, everyone starts with five force points. In terms of rolling outside of combat or not in direct combat, you can. There's your standard um, checks for skills. There's also something called take ten and take twenty. Meaning yeah. that if you happen to have ample time in a non-pressure situation, you can you can take a straight up ten plus whatever your bonus is, and just take that to see if you succeed in it, or take twenty as if you rolled it. It wouldn't be it wouldn't count as a natural twenty, but it would just be like twenty plus whatever your thing is, assuming you have enough t free time without pressure to do whatever task you're trying to do. Yeah. Um, so it's just one of those like using time in that situation and in that sense to so you don't have to roll like 50 times to try to keep doing the same thing over and over. Oh, so if like if I want to climb something and nothing was around, I can yeah, take 20. You can take 20 instead of roll like five times until you finally get something to. It'll just make time go by faster. Yeah, I think it literally means 20 minutes pass, right? Yeah, it, 20 times slower. Oh, okay. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Oh, force points are used for uh, two things. One, to enhance any roll with a 1d6 up to level 7. At that point, you'll get an extra dice. Um, or two, um, to negate a dark side point if you have done something bad during the course of the session to earn a dark side, a dark side point. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. And force points recharge was like a minute rest or something like that? They recharge with your normal rest, yeah. Um, and so the thing is with this one, this game, technically the rule is that you get hit points equivalent to your level after eight hours of rest. I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a house rule and say that if you can get eight hours of rest, you'll heal full, just because that's kind of how we've been doing it. Okay. Unless you want to play like really hardcore gritty like that, that's a few <laughs> else. Well, it doesn't matter to me because you know. Well, not for you, I guess. For the other, the I'm other not gonna team. argue with the GM. <laughs> okay. Uh, calculations, too much work. <laughs> right. So yeah, so you guys will just um. <clears throat> Let's do that then. Um, any other questions? I think that should be it. Can you put that um, force point usage in like a handout or something, just so it's easy to uh, to access? Um, force point usage. Yeah, I'll put that. I have a here. I'll type that all up. Because I don't have the book and uh, or I don't have it open, so okay. I'll upload stuff it like that would be useful in handouts. Channel. Okay, that works too. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> oh, I need to Okay, it's on the TeamSpeak channel. It's rules.doc. Oh, okay, it's in the uh, file browser, I guess. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> that works. File transfer complete. <clears throat> oh, okay, so um, this is useful. One other thing about the force point, maybe I should add that to the document. Are you guys going to update it? You can only spend one force point per turn. Okay. 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 Um, so, Mike, it, it is your turn. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, because yeah. Tomax used the force to do some oh, thingy. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I, okay. I don't think I passed that force check, though. I know, uh, you never said, so... <laughs> what are you trying to do? I was trying to sense where the captain was. The or captain. the Mandalorian leader that was our mission to find. Oh, uh, okay. Um, you do not sense anything. You are right. Yeah, there. it's not... Right. Okay, so six spaces. Does that... Do I have to count from above my character or on my character? Um, I think it's first step out. First that step, that yeah. would be a step. That would be two. Okay. And so on. Right. Okay. Cool. This should be like st our standard movements. Uh, oh. One thing about like using the force like that to check for people, so it the force is kind of like a thing a thing that you can detect for people who have it mostly. It's hard to pick up someone who does not have the force. force. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I think that's basically how it works in the movies too, right? It's, yeah. So. yeah. so, like, you can't pick up random thugs if you're, like, on a quest right. to find them. But if so you're trying to easy. find, like, a Sith Lord or something, you'll be able to, like, see them yeah. pretty easily. Luckily, you got the thug worth. <laughs> right. Mr. Biggles, the thug worth. The thug worth. Yeah, man. I just like how his name is covering up mine. <laughs> Yours <laughs> is covering mine. It's LS1, the thug <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess I can only move forward. Uh, can I uh, look around, see if there's any like uh, consoles I can, or if there's any consoles in the area? 
consoles in there. You see on this wall here that there is a small computer console. Okay. Are you going to do anything else? Oh, uh, well, so I at the very beginning, at the very top of the um, rule document, you have a standard action, a move action, and a swift action. Yep. And it can be done in any order. Um, and it's it's the same as the other games, so you could take so your standard like action to do a double move if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, do you get a standard action, a move action, and um, swift action? Standard, move, and swift, yeah. Okay. And well, you get free and reaction as well. Uh, which free is like just small talk and reaction. There are skills that will say uh, duration, reaction, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D and D has those as well. Yeah. Um, by the way, when Tomax and Bar get to this point, they notice that the pod doors um, closest to you are both closed right now. But in the distance, um, behind the. Uh, Pod doors, you hear sounds of, of battle, and you definitely hear blaster rifles. Wait, are you taking about the pod door right here? <laughs> Great. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so, sorry, uh, Mr. Bigglesworth, did you want to do anything else? Nah, uh, well, let's see, if I already scan... So I can still move another four, right? After you can do to... another, yeah. You can double move. Oh, did we ever decide on a destiny? Uh, you did not decide on your destiny. Yeah, I'll just I'll move up to the console. Okay, you inspect the console. It looks like your typical um, spaceship console, not specific to the Republic or Mandalorian. Like a general. So, like a gen like a very basic. So you can, you have no problem like working with it if you need to. Although you're an Ewok, I don't know how much you know about technology. <laughs> you like throw rocks at it or something. <laughs> Alright, Ellis. Dude, I use my wooden <laughs> stick and whack at it. <laughs> okay, Ellis is going to follow along behind Var um, in like a bodyguard position. And basically just keep watching him and, uh, okay. and follow him. Any other actions? Um, no. Okay. You hear stormtroopers behind the pod doors moving. You don't know what they're doing though. So this formation that you see may not be what the formation it is when you open the second set of doors. Tomax. Ah, I'm going to. I'll make sure my lightsaber is out and ignited. Okay. <laughs> um, do I have to be in front of the door to open a door, or can I just open a door here? What's that? Do I have to be in front of the door to open a door, or can I open it from like right here? Uh, from right there, you can open it. All right, I want to open the door. You open the door when you press uh the the control panel on the door. Both doors open, and you're able to see. Um, into here. Uh, well, you can, see, like, you can see like here-ish. <laughs> that door is closed? That door is closed. But here, from here, you can kind of see that in this area, there's essentially a pile of um, your fallen comrades. The <sighs> blaster sounds are much louder though. What direction are they coming from? Uh, behind that second set of pod doors. Any other moves? Right, I'm gonna move right here. Okay. You go into there, you see that that pod door is open. You see that the stormtroopers are set up like this. They're all firing am I, in. You see am I gonna that see John die? Maybe. You see that the heavy blaster guy is aimed right here. And you see these two. Well, actually, you don't see the other two yet. There are three. So those doors are wide open. And but you said those... they were shut. No, you but can't you said see them. When I was no, over no. here, you said this door shut. Did I say that? 
thought you did. That's why I moved out here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they're well, they're, well, they automatically opened them. Well, I had to open this door, so I assume I'd have to open this door. Okay, I will say when you approach the door, the door is open. And you see the stormtroopers in that situation. You are standing on a pile of dead comrades. Okay. Um, you, the doors, the pod doors open, you see the stormtroopers looking at you, and you staring straight back at them. They haven't fired at you yet. Right. You should buy some of like their, uh, what's that sign in Witcher? Art? Art. No. Uh, never mind. Let's go on. <laughs> Axie, there we go. Still got it. Uh, my, my turn? Wait, yeah. I, I thought I have an action still. So I haven't done oh, anything yet. Oh, okay, what do you oh, want to do? There. Free your sword. <laughs> well, he already <laughs> readied it. And he moved. Saber throw. Spin it out there. And hold it. <laughs> yeah, this ain't Old Republic, homie. <laughs> it is, actually. Pretty much is, but... This is the Cotter, um era, so yeah. We're, li we're, wanna, li we're listening to Cotter music right now, so. <laughs> really? No. I'm trying to remember. Old Republic is the. It's after Cold War Two, right? I'll just force. Yes. Is Force Surge a AOE, or I think it's just a push? I think that is an AOE. But Wait, no. If we're in Mandalorian War, then we're in before we're Cold War One, right? Yeah, no, it's Cold after Cold War One. Before Kotor 2. So, Alright, so we're between it? Alright. Because yeah. Revan, actually, I guess it is kind of, it's kind of before 1 2 because, because um, this, Revan, is, Revan, it, wasn't... Revan was the leader of the Jedi who went to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Yeah. Force Surge. Uh... Force Surge is a, is a jump. Oh, Surge is a jump. Oh, I thought I had push. I, I think disarm, I remember you took a mind push. trick. You no, I got grip. Oh. You gonna strangle someone already? <laughs> whoa, whoa! You're gonna whoa, force whoa. choke someone? Darth Vader? <laughs> Disguise? Dude, dude, am I gonna see Mike with like force lightning and? <laughs> oh no! Don't worry about that. <laughs> Just shout out unlimited power all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was planning on playing a Wookiee. So. <laughs> a Wookiee with Force Lightning would be amazing. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to react. <laughs> mind trick. I can use mind trick to make them see something that's not there, correct? Force yes. Alright. I want to use... Um, Mind trick and make and try to fool this guy into thinking this guy looks like is a Republic soldier or one <laughs> of the guys he, uh, <clears throat> one of the guys who have been killed, one of our guys. Okay, so you want to make a suggestion, so make a use the force check and you have to beat. Uh, number I'm not gonna tell you, but <laughs> use the forest look. What if we are Luke? Holy nice. yeah. cow! So oh. <laughs> I think we broke the game, boys. Yeah. Well, John is typical owns combat, so I, I don't even <laughs> know why I'm surprised. That's the only thing he's known for. Yeah. If, if it involves hit smacking something against something, he's gonna roll in the. So that was uh, almost a crit roll, by the way. I know that's insane. Jeez. What was that? This is nineteen. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So you you wanted the red guy, right? Yes, the red guy. So you mind trick the red guy, and he suddenly thinks that the blue guy immediately adjacent to him has transformed into a Republic soldier. <laughs> he freaks out and he repositions his. Um, mounted blaster rifle at the guy right in front of him and he opens fire. Uh, let me roll for that. No, you need them sound effects, huh? Uh, here, have some <laughs> blaster rifle. 
Yes! It's like a real RPG now. We got sound effects for all our moves. What's happening? I'm making a GMO. Hold on. No one wrote a one. <laughs> okay. Um, the red stormtrooper uh, completely blows holes in this blue stormtrooper <laughs> immediately, Jason. He is, turns into Swiss cheese. Um, he is dead. Wait, how do you make that big X? Uh, you click the, sta uh, the status button. And, yeah. Uh, after completely destroying this guy, the uh, blaster rifles continues to pass through and also destroys the guy immediately behind him. As well. uh, critical fails, OP. You hear blaster rifles everywhere. Alright, anything else you want to do? Um, I use my swift action to move out the doorway? Um, swift action, so... No. Alright. Can I use it to ready my lightsaber to block blasters? Uh... Swift action... What can you do with a swift action? Let me know, swift. what can you do with a swift action? Uh, swift action, you can activate an item, you can aim a weapon, you can do your second win, you can drop an item, you can fall prone, you can um, switch weapon mode on a gun. Okay. Then... So, manip uh, let's see, draw or holster a weapon is a move action. Unless you have a feat that makes it a swift action. So no, I already have my lightsaber out, so. Oh, you're well. Yeah, actually, you had it drawn before, so I will let you be in be able to be in defensive position. Okay. Mike, you're up. All right. Um, I'm just gonna keep on moving, I guess. Six squares. Uh, actually, before that, I'm gonna also ready my lightsaber because I heard the sound before. So that sounds trouble. That's not really a lightsaber, but sure. <laughs> well, it's having it's, trouble booting up. <laughs> it's like, oh, hold on. There we yeah, go. There you go. Oh, that's well, six places. So that's effect how far I go. Well, you could use a complex. Up, homie. You can double move it, yeah. Yeah, but then I can't do anything else, right? Right. But you right. would be able. You're not doing it. Planning to do anything else, right? Anyway, right? So. Uh, well, you know what? So I'm not in the way I am gonna complex. So another six. One. I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. Okay, do you wanna open that door? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I am gonna ask, however, I'm gonna roleplay. I'm gonna ask Tomax to, uh, I'm gonna ask him what happened. What's going on? Oh, there are a bunch of stormtroopers in this in this part over here. There are a bunch of down yet because I heard a, a lot of blast of fire. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. I I know that. I've known that for a lot of years already. All right. How well, many there left? Are one, two, three, four, five. There are six total. Two are down already. All right, awesome. Or I see six. I see six. Two are down. There might be more. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, you can't. I mean, they can get in the way in the sense that they block line of sight. Yeah. Right. Okay. So in that case, you would only see two right now. All about. Uh, he sees two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but you guys know that there are at least six. Right. Yeah. We heard a lot of blast of fire. Yeah. Kevin. Uh, Alright, I will uh, access the console. 
Okay, you uh, access the console. You need to make a use the computer check. Yeah. Comes Mr. Biggles worst. It's time to shine, homie. Okay. Uh, you successfully access the um, mainframe system of the ship. What would you like to do? Alright, uh, what, what options do I have? Uh, can I see security feed? You can see security features, you can see ship blueprints, and you can see the power grid status of the ship. Well, for the security, uh, can I like check for ca like footage? Like, uh, like camera? Yeah. Uh, no. Hmm. But you can see um, what is in their prison cell, that, like the t t detention center, and you can see what's in the cells, and you can see um, uh, like how many they have down there, and like the security level in that area. I guess I would check the, the prison area. Okay. You look in the prison area, and you notice that all the detention cells are empty. Alright, well I guess I can't use another action, so... Well, no I can't. So Wait, do you want to do anything up. else with the... with the computer, or well, are you done with the computer? Can I do another thing? Yeah, you can do other things. Uh, can I check, like, the power, uh, power grid? Yeah. You notice that every sector of the ship is running at full power. I guess there's nothing important. All right. Uh, well, I'll move over. Uh, okay. See. Could you manipulate the power grid? Yes, you can. That oh, sounds shit. That sounds like pretty useful to me. Wait. So I do. All right. So I get to do that under that then. Come on. Good call, John. <laughs> I'll play nice to do a Republic too. <laughs> See, yeah, you know what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm trying to do now. And I'll play faster than light. All right, all right. So, how, how much control do I have, like, within this console? So you can turn off power to specific rooms, specific floors. You can turn off power to the engine, to can the hyperdrive. Um, Don't overload the engines. <laughs> Well, still can, I over, can I overload like systems? Like you, you can't overload systems. You can turn off. You okay. can also turn off the shield to the ship. <laughs> yeah. Remember, you're that. on the ship though. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good idea. Uh, I, I'm guessing none of us have really good vision in the dark. Uh, I think half of us have low light vision. Uh, I think we yeah. all do. I have okay. low light vision. All right. But so I'll... do stormtroopers. So. <laughs> Do they? Josh? Yes. Uh, yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, crap. But then if I turn off, wouldn't it go no longer low light? Well, actually, no, it'd still be low light. No, that would be low. There's, there's, you're sure there is a backup power somewhere. You can okay. turn off. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. So, this guy's on a turret, right? Turn off yeah, he's on a turret. He, yeah, he's mounted. Down, so he can't move. He's not very mobile. Yeah, because you turn on power to the gun. I don't think I have power. That is well, a portable thing, so no, you cannot turn on. Oh, okay. Power I thought it down. was like a mounted gun. It's a what's well, mounted gun, but it runs off of a, a power cartridge. Okay. Kind of like can the power I, pack I carry around. Can I close yeah. the door in front of Tomix then? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but yeah, you can. <laughs> well, would I be able to force lock like? Uh, Hmm. No, way. Lock actually, the, yeah, you can lock. You can lock the door. Actually, that would have We want to get through there, though. That's yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think though. of what I can do in this situation. Uh, shoot. So if everything is working, hmm. oh crap! Turn the lights off really quick. On and off really quick. <laughs> can, yeah, just make can it. Can I just flash. like flick? The, yeah, Strobe can I just light. flick the light up and down to like yeah. disorient? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Can just make it flicker? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can do that if you want. You want to do that? Alright. Yeah, sure, I'll make it flicker and hopefully it disorients someone. Well, with all the right. blaster fire in there as well, it'll start to look like a rave. So there's that. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck?
the lightsabers going up in there? Damn, <laughs> dude, we got like a full light fill up in there. Okay, so you start to um, flicker the lights on and off, and it um, becomes really distracting. And like the more that you see that it's working, the faster you toggle the switch with your small little Ewok paws. Yeah. Um, it gets to the point that all of the stormtroopers, you look at them, you're like, you, or, well, Tomax can see them, and he's like, they're, they're, It's like the what? scene from The Simpsons where they're getting seizures. Yeah, it's like they're, they're having a seizure. Um, yes. However, at the same time, Tomax and Var, you need to make a willpower of defense. <laughs> oh boy, I wasn't expecting this. I believe them. They have the force. Uh, question: How do I roll a willpower defense? Because there's no rolling button in the in the yeah, seat. Yeah, I guess we just gotta roll. Just roll. I guess it'd be uh, yeah. standard D twenty. Uh, unless you're... Oh, there's no button. There's oh, no. don't roll a D twenty and that's our roll wisdom. Check it's what? ten plus. Um... Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. It's it's not a roll. It's a straight up number. Oh, so... fourteen. Okay. Sixteen. Fourteen and sixteen. Wait, Will. so Josh would have to. Yeah, Josh has to roll it. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I roll against that. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Actually, no, that's kind of... Well, actually... Huh. What was it? 14. 14 and 16? Yeah. Okay. Um, both of you guys are okay. Um, the blue stormtrooper that um, John can see, he is zonked out. <laughs> yes. See, what's so good? I'm, I've done it, guys. <laughs> Here, it's uh, like that. Um... Is that's it? and as far as you can tell, the guy, the red one on the mount, though he looks fine. He's been to his fair share of raves. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else you want to do? Nah. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I guess I could just move, but. Uh yeah, you can move. Yeah. If you yeah, move, you'll be logged out, and you have to. Reuse yeah. The no, I'm alright with that. Okay. All right, move um, Ellis. Okay, let's see. Ellis will move one, two, three, four, five, six, and um, are, are these doors here open? Uh, those are not open, but they are unlocked. Okay, Ellis is uh, going to move up to those doors and activate them to sweep and see if okay. there's anything inside. They both open. Uh, you can see straight inside. It looks like um, a control panel room of some sort. You're not sure for what. It is empty inside. Okay. All I you know is that it. there's there's a some kind of control panel in there. It's Dude. definitely operating something. You're not sure what it is. Dude, Dread, you need to integrate yourself with the system. And become I, don't a think, showdown. I don't think I have that tool. I do you have some spare tool showdown. appendages, but I'm not sure if those work. You can try. <laughs> like R2D2, just like, just, like plug myself in. in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you should have like a USB fucking plug on your head or something. Yeah, USB 5.0. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to move again or are you done? Uh, I already used my complex. That was your complex. So. Okay. All right. Stormtroopers, the blue guy is. Um, Freaked out. The red guy regains his senses after seeing the two stormtroopers are dead. He is going to take this turn to re reposition his gun at the door. And then you see behind him the two green stormtroopers move up to here and also aim their rifles at the door. Tobax. Another music going. Let's see. If I could, I use like force disarm to pull the gun out of to pull the gun out of this guy's hands, or is it? It's like a big bounty gun that he has to carry around. That's not the right move. Um, hold on. To use force pull. I have disarm. Uh, 
Force disarm? Yes. Um, you can't do it on the guy with the mounted gun. You can do it on the two other smaller guys, the greens. Because the guy with the mounted, he's not actually holding onto it, it's resting on a mount. He's just pulling the trigger. I'm imagining no one is translating trans messages. <laughs> yeah. well, I should mention that these are this is actual binary, so you can translate it if you're crazy enough to type this into a translator. That requires effort. Well, so you guys can just copy and paste no. it. Uh, the people watching the the vod can't. Okay. They have to be a special kind of crazy. I am going to try to. Um... Disarm this guy. Okay. Give me a roll. <laughs> uh, do you focus and concentrate and try to pull the blaster rifle out of the stormtrooper. You see the rifle jiggle a little bit, but it's still firmly in the script. And I'm going to move. Out okay. of the line of fire. Good idea. <laughs> Var. Um. Right, let's see. What skills do I have? Okay, okay. I wish I had brought some like, plasma grenades. Plasma grenades would be helpful right now. <laughs> yeah, but looking at how to obtain them was annoying too. I'm gonna ask uh, Mr. Biggles if he saw when he was checking out the console if he saw any uh, maps of the ship, uh, like uh, if he saw any airlocks. Why well, you wanna kill Jan already? No. <laughs> uh, he well, he's, a, he's not gonna die. Sick reference, bro. <laughs> I, I forgot to look at the blueprints. I forgot to look at the blueprint blueprints. Oh, I was well, looking at job, the Mr. security Bagel. feeds. You're very and helpful. like the power sources to see if there's anything unusual. All right. So you have no clue if there's an airlock in the next room. No, but right. if, there's no like uh, problems with electrical work. Cool. Not really gonna help us right now, but awesome. You know that Boomer's in the next room. <laughs> I am going in straight away. <laughs> Full head on speed. <laughs> no, um... Uh, so... I know about all these dudes in there. I don't like it. Can I... What do you use? What do you use? Um, what? What the hell was that? <laughs> Sounds oh, like no. someone's watching. Whoa. I don't know. Some cooking show? Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like Gordon Ramsay. Did a bit. Of except course for, not. Except without swearing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Whatever. I don't uh, know. I'm just gonna I move up. Uh oh, I need to turn that off. Up to. here. And I force push that guy. Uh, the mounted guy. Or force trust. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, you can. Yeah, the mounted guy. You need to do a use the force check. Uh, get my sheet up. That's the one on the skill, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, no extra input, I guess. 23. Nice. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, you easily push this guy off the his turret, and he is he's on the floor now. It'll take him a turn to get back up. Currently, no one is now on the mounted blaster rifle. Okay, can... 
Uh, I'm gonna give Tomax the okay that the blasted asshole is off the gunner. So, can I still move in, or is that not allowed? I think he moved to get up there, right? Right. So, no. I was just fighting my other skill. Let's see what it, exactly it does. Because it uses a swift action. Uh, if it's uh, a swift, you can do it now. But is it useful? Yeah. I'm, I don't think you do it so. anyways. <laughs> uh, well, actually, if I roll a particular DC, I think I get extra damage. But you're not attacking, so. No, but this also. If I roll higher than DC 15, I get a plus one force bonus on your next attack roll and deal an additional. One, uh, I need to be right back for five minutes. One second. Okay. Okay. Check the. Do you have the book open, Dren? Oh, you know what? I could just I uh, copy paste. Yeah, that would my be mouse, easier. My mouse would allow it. Well, I can't paste from the book, but I fucking wrote it down. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> you use a force to enhance your battle prowess. Um, make a use force check. The result of the check determines the effect, if any. DC 15, gain a plus one force bonus on your next attack roll and deal an additional 1d6 points of damage if the attack hits. DC 20 has DC 15, except you deal an extra 2d6 points of damage. Okay, so just extra so damage. So the question is, should I roll that now before I go into battle? Um. I, it does I guess. the next roll, next attack roll. Yeah. Next or, or you could just do it next turn. Right, so I do next turn force of the I do the uh, swift action, then move in and then yes. attack. You could do it that way as well. Oh, uh, that that would work for me. It'd probably be easier to remember that you've got it then as well. Yeah. I'll grab back as well. Okay. Do I need to put up a thing on the screen saying, "Guys, we'll be right back." No, I think I've still got the old ones. Let's see. What does this one say? Oh, no, that's the puns one. Okay. Let's remove that. Ready. Yeah, here we go. What are you planning to do, uh, Bagels, the Thugworth? Are you going to what? go back to the Are you going to back go back to the computer to check the, the blueprints, or are you just going to go in? No, I'm gonna head up to where you're at. To where I'm at? Oh, are you heading into this office here? Bound to be something. Oh, yeah, okay. that's like the main panel. Of, of more. Yeah, yeah. I imagine you got more uh, stronger like authorization there. Maybe able to I'm gonna, affect I'm security systems. Mac just to piss them <laughs> off. <laughs> but I'm gonna install uh, Java. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can have that Java thing popping up every five minutes. Hey, update your Java. <laughs> the horrors of when you play Minecraft or. Uh... Oh yeah. Fuck Minecraft using Java. Except on consoles, because for some reason on the 360 it uses a C instead of Java. C++? Yep. I guess it was a different developer and Java probably just doesn't work as well on consoles, or at all. That's more killer is dead. Ooh. Oh, now I just want to play Kotor. I'm saying. <laughs> well, I still have Kotor too. I still need to finish that game. I've not, I've not touched that series in like eight years. Like, it'd be a good refresher if this is going to be a, a long campaign. Before we end up back. You in, know uh, what? Uh, um, that 
the lady, she is in Kotor too. Yeah, she the, is. Uh, but I remember her after the Mandalorian Wars, the end of the game, when you see her. Right, yeah. Hey, this is her I'm before, back, before okay. that. Was Just waiting on Mike. It's weird. I took a talent for Deflect, and now I can't find it in the book. So I'm like, I know the talent has to be there. <laughs> It's there, you just gotta look closely. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble with, um... Like, Maybe the droid section is a complete kills. mess in the book. Yeah. I would just scroll what? up and down at, like, countless you took, times trying you probably, to probably It was one of the force training ones that you probably took. Right? It's supposed to help you deal with the deflect blaster shot. Right. That was under the, uh, force... Uh, force powers. Yeah, I think Mike was done, so we could just... Oh, wait, where did he go? Uh, he went toilet break, I think. Or maybe to get a smoke. Or a smoke off. a cigarette, something like that. Oh, okay. It wasn't a power, though. It was like a... I remember you taking it at the time. It was it said something about deflecting laser uh, blaster rifles or something. Force talents. Oh, it's under your it's under your Jedi class uh, thing, right? It's under lightsaber combat tree deflect. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that would, oh, that's a reaction, so you don't have to actively use it. It's just if people shoot at you, you can always do it. Oh, those are great. I love those. Yeah, ones. it's like a passive, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, that's the main reason why I took it. <laughs> I think it only works for one. You, you only get one reaction, right? You get one reaction, yeah. Well, I think it's like um, if they they make a roll, I make a roll, and then... It, I think if it's one shot, I deflect, and if it's multiple shots, then I take like half damage or something. Uh, yeah, if some, well, so the way they do it is if it's a barrage of shots from an auto fire, which would be the guy on the turret, that's technically different from two people with the semi auto blaster rifle firing at you, but I would probably give you the. I probably just give you half. Spin your lightsaber like a helicopter. <laughs> Best way to deflect, Tony. Do so you think Mike was done, or no? I uh, yeah, I think he w was. Done. Well, he only had to do that action anyway, and I think he was planning to do it next turn, just because okay. it's easier to remember. Oh, the, wait, he was going to do battle strike. Yeah, it, but yeah. I think he decided to do it next turn instead, at the very start oh. of his turn. Okay, do you want to move on? Yeah, let's just move on. Okay. Big ol' swear. Damn it, just wanna... Ah, oh, crap. Give me a sec. Okay. <laughs> I moved behind LSO1. Why do you move here? That'll be my turn. <laughs> what? Why do you move there? Huh? If you're going into the room, just go in there. You can walk through people. Okay. Yeah, as long as they're not trying to hurt you, then you can walk through them. Alright, well... And I'm uh, not trying to hurt is, you is yet, the door so... Open? <laughs> can I open the door? It's already open. Yeah, you can open the door. Oh, okay, he opened it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Alright, one, two, three, four. Okay. Well, that was my okay. action, so I can't really do anything. So, you're in the room, and you see... Um, the tank-looking things with the blue little orb on them look to be some kind of reservoir tank. Uh, you can't see inside it, and the blue thing is just... It looks like some kind of LED light um, signaling that whatever is inside is being contained properly. That's as far as you can tell. Um, and in front of you, directly in front of you, um, in that green zone, is a 
uh, chair with a control panel with a lot of instruments and a lot of displays on them. Aww, you don't recognize yeah. it. I'm gonna go all war games on you people. <laughs> you like to play a game? <laughs> oh man, I love that movie. Okay, um, anything else you want to do? Uh, well, I already used my complex action, so I can't really do anything. Okay. Did you? Uh, well, well he yeah, moved... I moved it. Yeah, I used both my moves. You were, or, you were moved there, that was like four. four squares. No, I like moved one, four to get behind two. you, and then I used another four to get Oh, him. okay. Oh, wait, you don't have four squares. He's small. Yeah, because yeah, I'm okay. small, so gotcha. I only can move four squares. Okay. Alice. Oh, me? Okay. Um... Do I have my gun ready? Um, sure. Is it a, is it a gun arm? <laughs> it's not a gun arm. I think Barrett, those are, those are more expensive. Um, you could be buried up in here. Well, I mean, I did consider getting like body-mounted weaponry, but I think they're more expensive. I think it's, it was cheaper to get it installed in-game afterwards. Yeah, something like that. That's hilarious. Better find the armory then. Well, you can do it. <laughs> I, uh, could, yeah, I could. I could I'm do a, it. I'm a certified mechanic. I mean, I've got higher mechanics, but I lose my focus bonus when I try to repair or work on myself. Well, yes. even then, I can combine my mechanic with yours and do a combined roll. Is that a thing? Uh, so when you assist someone and you pass the DC check, the main person doing it gets a plus two to the roll. Okay, interesting. Or can you just take like okay. a natural? Welcome back. So you could do a take, take 20? twenty on it, yeah, but oh, that yeah. would make it take a very long time. Oh yeah, that would take like weeks. And or considering something. we're in a ship in a battle zone, well, yeah, well, well we, we can do it now. Well, we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> like during downtime. Uh, anyway, nothing. Um, hey, nothing happened. Well, I meant the ship Two, is in like three, a battle okay, zone, uh, so I don't I think mean, a take twenty it's would not be like smart. You have to sleep. You could the whole night doing it. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to know, just so I yes. just used a force power, does that mean I used a force point? No. Oh, okay. That's OP. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's cool okay. then. So I guess force powers are pretty much like standard spells. Yes. I guess so. You What's the line of sight here? I, I, I can see this guy, he can see me. But what about yeah. these guys? Can they see me? No, they cannot see you. But um, you can be certain that their rifles are aimed at the door. Gotcha. And this guy also cannot see. He me. was yes, but he was knocked off his. He's on his back right now. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, Give him a little uh, like bent over uh, um, icon or something. <laughs> Give maybe. The, the back broken icon. one. Oh, maybe wait, that's a, a sentient one. one. Oh, nice. But he's off of it, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and it does impress me the number of like yeah. icons they have, and most of the time when you're playing D and D, you're like, disabled. how are well, these even useful? Honest, I don't think yes, I've ever I seen don't even a, uh, sentry Yeah. So. I, I well, guess I mean, they added some new ones. So since yeah, I'm the first person like the to use my ones. gun, as I'm about to do, uh, are we tracking ammo? Because uh, yeah, I've, I've got a power pack installed right now, yeah, which I means I can fire 100 shots without having to recharge. Um, which basically means, you know, I'm <clears> probably fine for... A long time. Yeah, yeah like if for anything, any encounter, I can, probably even anything, a dungeon. I have. Oh wait, I don't have power cells. Never mind. Uh, power uh, cells aren't very. They don't have six shots per cell. They're not very good. I it's up the, to you if you want. I want for the power packs because they're high. I'm shots. not going to be picky with that. I don't really care. No way. Um, I don't think it's a big component of the game. Okay. Well. I mean, you have enough resources to like almost always have. Yeah, and plus I yeah, got, because plus I got a recharge re kit, so I can yeah, you could recharge it, and yeah, so yeah. at that point we potentially almost have unlimited. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot at blue, uh, stormtrooper. Okay. And you're gonna shoot a defenseless stormtrooper. <laughs> you see if I hit that's something something a droid would do. I think I hit. Ignore the sun you... damage, I wasn't in stun mode. Oh, okay. Um, his reflex. Yes, you hit. You hit him for... what? You have a sporting rifle. Um, you're shooting in regular mode, right? Not burst fire? Uh, I think burst fire is the only mode this has. Oh, something. so you're shooting in burst fire. No, no, no. Yeah. I think it only has S mode, so yeah, it's single shot. Oh, okay. To me. 
You fire one burst, it hits him square in the chest. You see a seared black mark all over, and he falls over and dies. Nice. He's not very strong. Well done, Alice. It's the stormtroopers' time. They, you see the two greens line up here. Blasters aimed. Um, the first guy is going to shoot at LS. Aims his blaster rifle. Um, he has burst fire capabilities. So. I'm guessing the second guy can't shoot though, because he'd be The shooting second guy first. cannot shoot you now. Okay, good. I love corridors. <laughs> Whoops. That is the wrong roll. Oh, uh, just use it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will use it with just what the bonus that you're supposed to get. Yeah. Of course, naturally. Gee, what is your, what is your reflex? Is. Uh, 15. Okay. He misses. Excellent. That was a terrible roll. <laughs> Um, and the uh, guy who is on the mount, he stands back up, but he's not back on the mount yet. Okay. Come back. <clears throat> Can I stand here? Yes. Yeah. Alright. We're to where? <laughs> Bro train. Bro <laughs> <laughs> train already. And I'm going to attack this guy. Okay. With lightsaber? I uh, yes. Pew, pew. All right. You stupid character uh, sheet. Attack roll. Where are the attack rolls? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Ooh. Oof. Uh, you slash at him. He is able to do a matrix dodge of your lightsaber. <laughs> And um, you graze his armor a little bit, so now the front part is like slightly charred, but no damage, <laughs> completeness. All right. Bar. Uh, okay, so there's no blocking them uh, thingy, right? I can move right through them. You can move through us, but not through them. Yeah, you can move. So I cannot go here? No, you can't go there. Well, that sucks. Um, That's what happens when you guys bro train in a small corridor. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine though. That is fine. Hold on. Give well, you could, could. Could you force push this guy into this guy? I can. You would force push force push us though as well. But I was actually thinking about force pushing away the. Oh, could you force push the turret into this guy and crush him? Maybe <laughs> I could, probably could. <laughs> Because it says target one object or character within 12 squares and you, within you, line of sight. You don't have line of sight. Yeah. No, but if I move here, I do. But then you're standing on someone. So? Oh, you can't stand on someone. You can only you move, can you can on move shoulders. through. You, you, can <laughs> you can sit on my shoulders. Yeah, if you if you duck down, I will, I'll let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude, this is getting pretty good. I, was, I don't even game. know what this is. It's like these two Jedis are like standing on top of each other. <laughs> well, we're Jedi, is, so we have it, to it reminds me of the skit from the Chateau show. The Jedis. We do. I do have great balance, on. so... <laughs> I'm confused. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna jump on uh, Tomek's shoulders. <laughs> and I'm gonna force boost this turret. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot on my guy. shoulders. Do you really want two people to be in line of sight for them to shoot us both at the same time? <laughs> it's like one I don't big think that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, I am going it's to a need one good idea. bar and acrobatics check, and then Tomax, I need a strength check. Oh, Lord. Why did I not speak in the strength? What's wrong with me? <laughs> he didn't. But neither did I. Whoa, 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 John! Not strength. Yeah, that's what, what is the weirdest thing I've heard all day. I think we're done playing Star Wars, guys. <laughs> neither have I, which is funny. Oh, <laughs> but we're raping this shit, dude. Yeah, so you are now. I'm the... standing on. I'll just stand here for a sec. Yeah. Or actually, here is probably better. You are now the Jedi gymnastics show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. 
and I want to force trust this. Okay, um, you use the force. The Jedi, the, the stormtroopers are wondering why these two Jedi with lightsabers are standing <laughs> on top of each other. They've never seen like this formation hazard. before. <laughs> Seems like a safety hazard wielding lightsabers. I thought they were gonna die just because we did this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far off. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, use the force, right? Yeah. Fifteen. Excellent. Uh, so, what did you want to do? Knock uh, it over onto the guy, or just uh, knock it over? Well, um, yeah. Knock it over I'll, onto the guy. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for the first one. Okay. Um, you <laughs> successfully knock the. Mounted rifle onto the guy. The guy is crushed. He's not dead, but he's okay. pinned down. Okay, cool. And and definitely not able to use it. No, you can't use it. Okay. Well, I mean, you he, could he's going to try to push himself it, but... off, but you'll, right, okay, you're okay, not okay, sure cool. if you can do it or not. You're not sure how strong he is. Okay, fair and fair nice. Good I think that was pretty much my turn. Okay. Give me a sec. See if I can find an icon that fits. Uh, What's going on? <laughs> so I'm like, yes, I wish I uh, had a John needs that one. John needs that one. <laughs> Alright, so... And I, I will choose... I will choose this one. <laughs> Bigglesworth will move over to the console. Okay. And, uh, try to me. access it. You... When you get closer to the console, you realize it is the control panel for the docking bay which you came in. <coughs> so you can Damn open it. and close that docking bay. As well as you can control all of the doors in this area, meaning this door, this door, this door, and the door that they are currently at. Alright. Uh, do I get any security feeds? What about this door? There is no security, but you also- which door? Uh, that doesn't control that door. You also control the right. airlocks for all of, um, <laughs> the air pressure system for all of these rooms. Crap. Yeah, a little late, Bigglesworth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's a good I thing guess... that most of us can breathe in a vacuum. Yeah, you can. I well, I don't need to breathe, and you have you your uh, mask, you right? Too. I have a mask, so I can. Probably breathe in space. I don't even actually know. You, I do have a filter. Well, it is a it's a filter, not a. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Probably not. Yeah. All right. So nothing of importance. Then. Well, I mean, I, I would say it's pretty important. It's just you don't want to use any of that stuff. Now. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait. What I if mean, you I could. wanted to? I mean, if you could, yeah. If you went to, yeah. Oh yeah, you could totally um, do it. Yeah, I'm not stopping you. Right? <laughs> but I don't get I mean, access to blueprints, right? There's no blueprints now. Ah, crud. So I guess since they're in the door, how does like the doors work? Is it like um, two doors, like uh, it's like two back-to-back -back doors. So there's like no space in between them. You know how like in a uh... oh um because like, you know, there's, there's a very like, small in case of a, space. Like, there's a like small like in case of emergencies, like you know they cut off a section to prevent right. It's like there's there's room for one person in between oh, the okay. two doors. All right. But then technically, oh, all right. So at that point, I can just close the door where the Jedi's are, right? And you guys, like, they'd be uh, okay. Right? Well, they're like in between the two doors right now. So if you closed it, you would cut off the two Jedi from the droid. Okay. So... Oh crap. Um, I'm trying to look up the experience right now. I don't remember what it was. Alright, well... Yeah, not much I can do on that one. Well... Hmm, no. Well, yeah, check if there's more anything. consoles in there. Maybe, maybe there? there are more. Yeah, okay. Um, can I look around and see if there's anything valuable? Anything valuable? Um... Like, anything... Like worth mentioning besides like to, the main to console. Take? Well, I, I guess like 
things of interest? Um, no, you see, essentially, there's nothing like portable that you could take with you to leave this room with. But like uh, any other instruments that are worth, like, that are like uh, important. Nothing that you wouldn't be able to find in like a normal scrapyard. So it's all not okay, so, nothing valuable. All right, so it's just this console and everything else. Is pretty yeah. Much. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, crudes. All right. Well, not much I can do then. Uh, Next level, level is two hundred for level one. Oh no, sorry, four hundred <laughs> for level two. Uh, just move one back space then. Okay. Since I use three and then one, yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alice. Oh, um, oh. Interesting. Would have been amazing if I can airlock them out. <laughs> I have some acrobatic Jedi standing in my way. <laughs> I was about to say, are you are you gonna do something like that? Are you gonna be like that droid from uh, what was it, Gravius or whatever? I'm gonna steal <laughs> Mexico's bonus. <laughs> As a I droid, I've like never seen like, this before. Like that dude with like four lightsabers or whatever. Kind of oh, General right. Grievous? Yeah, Grievous. Yeah, I still remember it. Alice, why don't you go check the door below us? There might be something interesting. Maybe. Assimilate yourself into the mainframe. <laughs> All I'm going to make Alice attempt to do. Okay, Alice understood the order, the command. Okay, um, so... so Champ check. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. And so uh, it shall. Wait, um, Caesar just to do this. Do you have like a square counter for? It doesn't matter. Uh, two, three, four. These rooms are open, right? They are open. Six. Okay. I assume this is like an engine. This is a power reactor core for one of the main engines, of which there are four on the ship. Okay. Does he know what that means? What it does? <laughs> As a droid, he should know what that means, yeah. yeah. Uh, he it knows that if he out. turns off this core or destroys it, it shuts down one-fourth of the ship's engine capabilities in terms of moving, and depending on which engine it's associated with, um, maneuvering, steering, um, and the ability to go into hyperdrive. hyperdrive. Does this also feed into the power grid, or is it... Or is it an independent system? It's an independent system. Okay. Um, you should uh, charge your iPhone on it. <laughs> you can charge your iPhone on it. Yes. <laughs> there is wireless charging. It's gonna be like what? Speed of light. <laughs> it's like a two-minute charge. <laughs> oh man, dude. Okay. Is there anything else in here, or is it just the uh, the, the core? It's just the the power core. Okay. Um, in that case, let me just quickly check. See if I got any skills that might be probably not. Um, okay, yeah. Alice, uh, his turn is over. <clears throat> okay. Um, I have a question. Yeah. I have um light armor. Yeah. How do I put that onto the character sheet to make it work? Now, see when it says max armor, do I use that or do I... No, the max armor is how much dex you can put, like benefit off of it. Yeah, you put it into your ref, uh, um, reflex you defense. Put into bonus. reflex defense. You look at if it designates reflex or fortitude or will. It's reflex. I don't think it should be reflex, yeah. Then you add the, uh, the reflex points into it. Took me a bit to get it. Oh, uh, where? Uh, which which where? armor do you have? I have the blaster helmet and vest, plus two reflex, plus um, five max dex the, bonus. Uh, where the reflex will thing, there should be like a little box to the right that you could tick up. What? Like to add a. <clears throat> oh right, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the modifier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the reflex check it. check it up two times. Oh, he already did that. Really? Yeah, I did that, but it's, it's making no difference in my armor. It does. Your reflex is 10 plus 1 plus 2. Right? Well, the 2 is from my... Um, I get 1 for my um, race and 1 for my class. 
So that's where that class comes from, because I get one Zebrax get a plus one to all defense rolls. Oh, okay, and then, then Jedi get a plus one to all to reflect fortitude and will. Then but, you should also get one for your armor. So add a two to the misc. Oh. Guess I should not do it. Okay. It uh, should give you the proper yeah, calculation. Was that it? Right. Yeah, okay, I think that works. Okay. I thought it would calculate it automatically, but I'm looking at it new. No, because uh, you can't really put armor in it for yeah, like, no, the same with yeah. weapons. Yeah, yeah, it says armor there, but it doesn't let me change it. That doesn't make any sense. Right. No, that's so it says, but that one's actually for your level because you get one per level. Okay. Uh, so, which is, I don't know why they put slash armor. That's like, that's weird. Anyways, oh. the stormtrooper that is watching the circus show. Pulls out his blaster rifle and aims at Tomax. And he's going to fire. What is your uh, reflex? 17. He misses. What about my uh, deflect? I want to see if I can deflect, or that's like a high thing, deflect it back in his face. Um, let's see. Deflect is passive, but you see if you can deflect if it's a miss. What page is deflect on? I still can't find it. It's on uh, page 41. 41. I'm typing it right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. You can, you can use this to deflect it back at the guy. I'll let you use the force. Why is it all the way at the bottom? Okay, you deflect the blaster bolt back, but not enough to... You weren't able to get it to hit the guy, so it just deflects off into the side. Okay, now it is your turn. Alright. Can I roll bus? <laughs> can you what? Well, can, can, we can do... I make boss do what E Honda? Uh... Well, yeah, I was <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, no. whoa, whoa, whoa. I was just thinking, well, can I we do it? I get him... to do that, homie. It's time to play Neil's attack. I'm gonna use all my shoulders. Well, so, okay. I mean, can't can you, use... like, force push? And his turn is right after mine. Right. Can you technically like force push him? Like you could use him as a sandbag against the enemy. What you could also do is delay an action so you come in after him. Yeah, you can let him go first and let him jump if that's what you're gonna do. Right. I was just planning on jumping on like the second guy with my lightsaber. Oh, okay. You could do that. On delay or no? Yeah, I'll delay my turn. So. Okay. Okay. So for that, I'm gonna use a what are they called again? A swift action. Okay. To use my battle strike. Okay. Um, I gotta make a use the force check for that. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Nice. So 24. Holy cow! So you get. That's a. You get a 2d6, 2D6 to your damage uh, if you hit. Yeah. Alright, so now I'm just gonna jump. Okay, I need an acrobatics check. Okay. Uh, yeah, force surge. Can you use force surge to do that? Um, you could have, yeah. Okay. Um, you are going to take on your attack roll a minus one. If you, when you try to attack the stormtrooper. Okay, so I'm just gonna somersault over the first one. Yeah. Gonna. You should have used your swift saber. action. What? You should have used your swift action. Yeah, he used a swift action. Did he? He used it to cast the um, battle strike. Battle, battle oh, right, okay. Yeah, uh, so yeah. Which kind of negates the whole minus one, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, somersault over the first one, and I'm gonna drop my lightsaber straight into his second stormtrooper. Okay. Give me maybe. Cool. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's a two. Good thing that wasn't a crit fail, at least. Um, okay, and then give me... They'll give you a... Um, give me a dex roll. A uh, dex roll. Okay, so... Uh, you try to jump over and somersault the, over the first stormtrooper, right. and um, kind of chop your way into the second stormtrooper. You completely miss the second stormtrooper, um, okay. and instead you just fall on him. Um, oh, as you okay. fall on him, <laughs> you knock him down to the ground, and you're able to somersault and tumble off him um, to standing position again. So you're fine. He's okay. knocked to the ground, but you did not hit him. Okay, cool. I can live with that. And you can tell people oh, you did that, that on purpose. <laughs> that easy prone status. I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the sun! <laughs> Praise the sun. Uh, so I was wondering, so I did my battle strike. Do I keep that for the next one, or do I have to do it again? You have to do it again. Um, I, yeah, it's only one rounder. Yes, okay. Uh, remind me okay. that. Uh, oh, sorry, Tomac. Now it's you, because you yes. died. <laughs> okay, I want to... Um, wait, it's my turn now, right? Yes. It is your turn. Okay. You should move the uh, turn order around. Um, yeah. Well, it's, it's, all right, I'm well use, it'll um, just go... Uh, okay. I'm going to use uh, Force Disarm. And disarm okay. this guy right in front of me. Okay. <clears throat> God dang, dude, those forces with him. Okay, force disarm is attempting to disarm the target. Basically, I pulled the gun out of his hand into my hand. Right. It rolls against the opponent, gets plus 10 bonus to his reflex defense. Attack 6. So you got 27, and he has. Oh man. Okay, so you pull his blaster rifle straight out of his hands using the force, and you swing it behind you, and it falls out over here. <laughs> he is now armed, disarmed, and he is completely confused as to what just happened. Do you want oh, to I can move? actually use a rifle. Oh, can I move into the room? Or I thought he was blocked in the way. Uh, you can move backwards. Well, this guy's on the ground. This guy is disarmed. And this guy has a uh, turret on top of him. <laughs> so I want to um, ask the guys if they want to surrender. <laughs> surrender? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I want to say him? drop your. I want to say um, surrender, and you won't be harmed. Okay, that's very noble of you. Um, the first guy like shrugs his shoulders. He's like, I, I don't have a gun. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and the second guy, um, he sees he's outnumbered. He throws his gun to the ground. So now they're both standing there. They both put their hands up in the air. Their buddy in the corner is still struggling with a gun on him. The the second guy threw his blaster rifle over here. Right. I want to tell him to go uh, line up facing the wall over here. Okay. They listen to you and they line up. Do you guys want to continue in turn order or get out of turn order? Do you have anything specific you want to do? No, that's... I'm okay. doing turn order. At this point, um, 
all four of you hear a loud voice over your intercom, your comm links. Um, it is General Surik, and she gives an immediate evacuation disorder to return back to the flagship, to her flagship immediately. Get out of that ship as soon as you can. Okay. Uh, you have time for one action before you run out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know to do. <laughs> I would say you guys should just evacuate. I hit the airlock and we booked it. <laughs> but I would so get dark side points. That if you hit the airlock side. while you're on board, you're gonna die, fool. No, <laughs> in, in that room. Is there a door in this room? Well, I mean, like a, a shuttle, uh, a blast door or something like that. Uh, I think you're standing in it. No, I mean like a port to the outside. Oh, um. He said he wants to hit the airlock. Is there an airlock door in this room? Airlock in your area. There's no airlock room. Uh, there's no door to the outside, but his control panel controls air pressure in all of those rooms. Oh, oh so it's like life support. Oh. Well, I say we tie these guys up, take them with, my, with the, us, and leave the ship. What I would say. I'm alright with taking the, the three guys who are left prisoner back. Yeah, take take them as prisoner with us. Uh, you guys actually taking General Strick says I've you need to come all. back right away. There's no time to waste. Oh, well then I'm leaving. So what about these troopers, ma'am? Leave them. She said leave them. Are you 100 percent sure? That's her orders. You can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Lucky for them, because with that intelligence score, if LS had seen they were still alive, he probably would have shot them on sight. Alice, <laughs> come with me. Alice, don't shoot him. What? Shoot him? Okay. <laughs> I heard throw a grenade in there. <laughs> uh, he's doing his check, so. <laughs> oh, he's not. Okay, try are you, okay. okay. and <laughs> Kevin, are you anything before you leave? No. Nope. Okay. So you guys um, <coughs> exit the ship immediately, and you go back to your main ship, uh, to your main flagship, where um, you see the the battle happening again, and it's it's still chaos right now. You notice though that um, as you get back to your uh, flagship with uh, General Surik, uh, when you um, reach the command center of the ship. Um, she congratulates you for your job well done. Uh, even though you haven't, you did not um, complete your objective. Um, she says, uh, "Good job. Uh, that's uh, that was great work back there." Um, you're not sure what she's referring to. You took down some stormtroopers, but you didn't get very far into the ship, so that's kind of weird. Um, I'm just going to assume we were a distraction for the other people who did. Yeah. Yeah, I think your assumption is correct. Wait, well, this is the I don't say that out loud or something, but... Guys, don't tell me you have a two uh, intelligence, man. Come on. Uh, uh, plus two, yeah. You have a, a plus, no, plus two one, two? sorry. Um, you When you're back on the ship, you notice that um, the scene that you see before you, all the laser, all the gunfire, is slowly starting to look smaller and smaller. And you realize that you... Your ship is actually backing away from the main battlefield, which is weird. Um, you can ask. I just, oh yeah, yeah, I was just gonna no, say, no. can I ask uh, why we're flying away? You yeah. were already gonna answer, so. <laughs> so you you wonder why, and um, but uh, General Surik doesn't answer you, and the other. Um, Officers on board say that they're following um, exit protocol. Um, both the Jedi's, you know that this is not exit protocol. This is exit protocol. Don't <laughs> lie to me. You also see in your screen um, now that um, uh, Revan's ship uh, is slowly kind of jetting out of the main heat of things as well. And um, you see it, you, you see like a small ship like right here, and it like putters off here, and then it jumps into hyperdrive. So he's gone. 
you are you're being debriefed by the first officer on the ship and you are told that while you are invading um, while you were carrying out your assault on the on the flagship the Mandalorian flagship that Revan also snuck aboard as well from the other side of the ship and he made his way to the command center and Unofficial reports, there's no conf confirmation yet because um, the only person so far who has reported this information is Revan. Um, uh, is that, uh, sorry, I should say unverified uh, report, is that um, he was able to slay the Mandalorian leader. And as of right now, there is no Mandalorian leader. But that's only from one source, and no one else has seen the things. And Revan just jumped off into hyperspace, hyperspace with, before everyone else, or while everyone else is still fighting. When you say Mandalorian leader, do you mean just a commander or the Mandalore? Cassus Fett. I mean the Mandalore. Okay. Cassus Fett. Interesting. Um, yeah. Now, um, let's see. Uh, John, I want you to make a perception check. I have a pretty high perception. I too have high perception. Ooh. Watch okay. John like roll a one. No, my no, he... uh, perception is one of my one of my skills. That's a perception and use the force as my skills. Uh, good call. Um, you see, General Surik all of a sudden becomes very silent as she stares intently out of the um, window at the fight that is still continuing on. It is clearly evident that no one else has given evacuation orders except for your ship and Revan's ship. You're not sure what's going on. Uh, you then Well, see... we know we're the only Jedi here, right? What's that? We're the only Jedi here, though, right? Oh, no. Revan was a Jedi. And Revan Jedi... was a Jedi. You guys are a Jedi. And the general. Jedi and the Master. general is a Jedi, yeah. Yeah, and the general was with us, right? The yes. general. Well, he didn't. she didn't go on the ship with you, but she's with yeah. you presently. Okay. Okay. So, um, you see, you stare at her staring out the window, and then she's silent for a good three to four minutes. And Tomax, you notice that suddenly out of nowhere, Surik kind of stares over her left shoulder back at someone towards the rear of the command center and gives a slight nod. Uh, she nods uh, at a person who looks like they're kind of hiding in the shadows, but like more of just a someone who definitely doesn't look like they belong in the command center. And you see that the person is actually a Zabrak. And he's carrying a small, what looks like a box. Uh, the Zabrak walks up to Tomax and um, brings a box uh, to, to presents a box to you and the box uh, essentially has a red button on it and he, he says um, General Surik requests that you press this button press it for glory I don't know Tomax <laughs> Can you use a force to sense intention? What's yeah. that? Can you use a force to sense intentions? Yeah, you can. All right, I want to see. Actually, can... you know, uh, you don't have to roll. You can sense that he's being genuine in his request that General Surik does want you to press this button. What will happen when I press the button? Yo, if you press it, you're probably causing a genocide. <laughs> This button holds the key to the end of the Mandalorian War. It is imperative that you press it. As a Zabrak, Why is it imperative that I press it? Because it is General Surik's wish that you do so. Can, uh, can I, like, based on her... Wait, because she, like, she didn't say anything. She just nodded, right? She just nodded. Uh, can I detect any kind of, like, foul, like, uh, everything is genuine. She is giving a genuine order to this Zabrak, who is now giving his order to another Zabrak, a fellow Zabrak. 
Uh, I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Seems like they're setting this up for the fall. Or I guess you guys. Whoa. If you're not gonna, what's gonna happen when I push the button? I need specifics, not some general <coughs> blah blah. I'm not too sure of the specifics myself as... Alright, I want to ask the general. What's going to happen uh, if I push the button? Can I... Or, well, before you ask, can I, like, see what... Like, what the box... Because it's like a button, right? It's a box with a button. It literally looks like a wireless controller or something. Can... Ah, uh, well, I guess... I can't look at it. Ah, uh, shoot. I mean, you can well, I guess take it. The... Well, there's not much I can... I mean, just looking at first glance would not tell me what it would do. No. Unless I would get in under the box, but... You would have to not, open it. They're not going to let me do that that easily. Uh... Crap. Can I use, like, a destiny own, point to see what happened if I first... <laughs> <laughs> uh... I mean, how would that change whether... How would a destiny point change? Like, it can't tell you the future. Right. Doug, I should have said that power, wouldn't the first power to let you take, like, something bad's gonna happen if you do something? Um, yeah, well, either way, happen. I was like, I'm not gonna push this button unless you tell me exactly what's gonna happen. Can I meditate on this? Can I meditate on this? Well, isn't there a I'll, way I wanna for ask, Jedi to I wanna speak ask to the general master, straight out, like, um, what's gonna happen if I push the button? The general says, in very vague terms, that uh, my young Padawan, you will end the war once and for all. Why do I have to be the one to push the button? Because I'm your master and I'm ordering you to. I don't answer to you, I answer to the Force. <laughs> Are you saying that to a Jedi Master? Yes! Are you betraying the Order? I'm not a slave! <laughs> yeah, but you're oh, training. You the Order! The Rebellion begins, boys! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, I answer to you, I answer to the force. And if you're not going to tell me specifically what's going to happen, then I'm not going to do it. Okay. She seems very irritated, and okay. she looks over at the Zabrak that was, that's holding the button, and then she gives the Zabrak a second nod. The Zabrak gives a loud oh, sigh at you, and the Zabrak presses the button. Uh, immediately, you hear a loud, like, whiz whizzing kind of like small engine ticker tinkering kind of noise and then uh, all of a sudden uh, um everyone's vision is flooded with lights of green you see that uh, um what used to be malachor is become engulfed in this huge ball of just green energy and all of the ships that were fighting previously near the surface of Malachor um, have kind of got sucked into the core of the planet almost as like if it was a black hole there. And uh, everything in a matter of moments is just torn to bits. And you only see this, although it seems like an eternity and you're watching this in slow motion, actually all of this happens in the course of maybe three to four seconds. Uh, but you have this image deeply imprinted in your mind as as to how horrific it, this the scene is and the amount of death that this has caused and but almost immediately or rather almost as if in perfect sync timing you jump into hyperspace at the exact same time that the button was pressed and um, you I'll shortly... that Republic too. See, I know that lady ain't no good. <laughs> <laughs> you rendezvous up with the rest of the Republic force. Uh, at this point, General Surik uh, leaves the command uh, center to go off into um, a smaller shuttle to get back to her own personal ship. And uh, But before she leaves the command center room, she says specifically to Tomax, um, it is clear you need much more training, and, uh... It is clear you are evil! I should have her the name of the Republic. <laughs> do you want to do that? She is one of the highest Jedi Masters, and one of the top leaders on the Council. 
When that planet fell, did we feel a lot of disturbance in the force? You felt a giant <laughs> disturbance in the force. Yo. As if millions of voices were suddenly silenced. Exactly. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Alright. I'm pulling up my lightsaber. I can't let this go. Really? Yes. Okay. Yo, I think so we're gonna, gonna pull your lightsaber. Okay, I'm gonna uh, try to. Up. Oh, Max, don't do this. I answer to the force. This person is evil. She just oh. killed millions of people. <clears throat> Bad she people, said, though. She said, you should listen to your fellow Padawan. We just ended a 16 year long war that was destroying the entire galaxy and ripping the Republic You apart. can use whatever excuses you want to try to justify your actions, you evil bitch. Oh, <laughs> that's. It begins, boys. Oh my god. Can, can I, like, slow oh, back man, away from this? Die, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I can't let this go. I can't be a Cause... Jedi and let somebody destroy millions of people and not do anything about it. As noted, they never notice me because I'm short, so I'm gonna slowly back away. <laughs> but you're just in the corner going, Ooh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, but I'm, you know that I'm, your I'm, own I'm master like, would do this, too. I, I'm, I'm, like, recording this. I'm gonna post it on, like, my book, my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> if, like, shit's going down. Can't yeah, let this go. World star. I'm a Jedi. Seriously. Just take it easy, meditate. Meditating General Sarek says you should go. listen to your colleague. The hate is flowing strong within you. <laughs> Do not fall into the dark side of the force. Repeat, repeat your word. Repeat the, the whatever the fact the words are. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> the meditation words? No, I mean the... The, uh, the oath, right? The oath, oh, the oath. Yeah. Bonus points if you Fear know leads it. to hate. I don't, no, I don't. Fear leads I don't to hate. Know. No, I hated that trial the, so no, much. Fear is the path to the dark side. No, anger Man. is the path to the dark side. No, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hatred. Hatred leads to suffering. I said so much anger. Something like that. Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> when you confronted her, did you, um, what's it called? Did you act? Uh, did you uh, activate your lightsaber? Uh, no. Okay, so you just took it out. Yes. Okay. But I haven't activated it. Okay. I'm still trying to calm him down. Okay. Um, I had something that I was gonna say, but I totally forgot right now. God damn it. Um. Oh, what's it again? <laughs> she turns around uh, to totally leave. Forgot. Um, you have one chance to make a statement or an action before she walks out the door. This isn't over. She says, well, she didn't say anything, but um, let's see. What, what is your will, def will uh, reflex? Or sorry, will defense? I think it's 14. Oh, let me look. No, 16, I think. Too high than mine, I believe. Oh, 16, yeah. OK, it's 16. Uh, you feel your lightsaber slip out of your grip. It is torn away from your hands, and it, you see it fly into her hands. And she says, you are not worthy of this right now. You can get this back when you <laughs> calmed yourself. And and she you I don't get off. a reflex against that? Or no, you, not against her. OK. <laughs> That's why she's a master. <laughs> Evil master. Dude, you're probably no, like I don't level, think so. She's probably like a level 60, like Jedi or something. I don't care! I say to... I say to uh, Tomax uh, that our mess would have probably pressed the button. I would never press the button to destroy millions of people. So she leaves and the crew kind of resumes their normal thing. Um, at this point, you can ask. Um, no, sorry. One of the uh, the first officer of the ship um, asks you if you would like, uh, because he understands that two of you are, even though you're Padawan, you're still like of the Jedi ranking, so you kind of outrank him in terms of um, this Republic ship. Uh, if you would kindly step over into a side room so that he can debrief you guys. Alright. 
Okay. Um, so, and Ben, along, Kevin, do you guys follow? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm making Alice follow. I'm not uh, what, what are you nice. saying now, Alice? Write in basic. Write in basic. Write in HTML format. Write in moisture evaporator, please. Yeah, C C plus, please. <laughs> All right. So he um, kind of escorts you to the side room, and he says, um, "I uh, first of all, I would like to thank you guys <laughs> for um, for your tremendous help uh, in this in this mission. Uh, we consider so far throughout uh, this Republic a great success at the Battle Battle of Malachor, as this was this." is now being called upon uh, among the Republic fleet. Uh, the initial plan was to essentially ambush the Mandalorian fleet outside of Malachor as this was known to be one of their resupply stations. Um, and in their vulnerable and off-guard state, we would be able to crush their fleet swiftly, destroy um, a large portion of their fleet, and capture or kill the Mandalore, the leader of the Mandalorian um, army. Um, it actually went much better than expected as you saw that um, under the leadership of Jedi Knight Revan, um, we were able to uh, assault and invade the main flagship, and Revan was able to slay the Mandalore. Um, what you experienced in our exit from the battle um, with, as you all know, the unfortunate sacrifices that were made with the remaining forces that were still there, uh, was the use of a weapon known as the Mass Shadow Generator. Uh, this weapon was designed by Revan specifically for this purpose, uh, rather for this trap for the Mandalorian fleet. Um, what General Surik was instructed to do by Revan was um, to, in the middle of the battle, um, activate the mass shadow generator such that it would encapsulate as much of the Mandalorian fleet as possible um, and wipe out um, as many of the Mandalorian army as we could using this weapon. This was a very secret, um, highly classified military weapon designed, and then he looks at Tomax, by your very own um, Zabrak um, specialist. And it was given to us, uh, given to Revan uh, to use for this mission. Uh, the person who presented it to you uh, was a was one of the lead um, designers for this weapon. Uh, his name is Bowder, and uh, he was essentially giving you the honor of using a Zabrak designed weapon. He yeah, obviously uh, doesn't know what it means to be a Jedi. Uh, well, he is not a Jedi. He is but a regular civilian, a scientist. Um, we believe, though, it is for the greater good in that we may have saved the lives of many more millions at the cost of one planet and the Mandalorian army. Uh, at this point, uh, we are to resupply with the main Republic fleet, and we expect once Revan uh, reaches, uh, rejoins us at this rendezvous point um, to um, plan for our next stage in which we will hunt down the remaining small bits of the Mandalorian army as they are scattered throughout the Outer Rim territories. Um, at this point, it looks like we can safely call the Mandalorian War over, or close to over, and we just have small, small details to clean up. If you have no questions. Um, we again at the Republic thank you for your service and we will be happy to provide you with transportation to wherever you like um, if you uh, 
um, are not interested in helping Revan and the Republic clean up the rest of this war. Go to Tatooine, homies. <laughs> as far as you know, there is no Mandalorian activity in the Tatooine systems, but um, it, it is a nice place to visit. Well, I just say we do what uh, at least I do whatever my masters order me to do. <clears throat> yeah, I need to report. I need to report this happening to the to my master in a Jedi Council. Okay, um, that would most likely require transport to Coruscant. Um, we can we can arrange that for you if you like. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> would you like to go immediately? Uh, yes. We could. Okay. Uh, I will arrange that right away. And he heads out the door. Um, while he's preparing transportations, you guys can have a little time to talk if you want to. If not, we can travel to travel right away. Coruscant. Where are you taking them? Can I go to... Um... While we wait for the preparation, can I go to uh, Master Mitra? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, away, she's or... on a separate ship, so you have to. So <clears throat> it would delay your flight a little bit if you want to do that. It's up to you. She's on now back on her personal ship. <clears throat> um. Uh, you don't have to meet her in person, though. You can. No, um, I have to meet her in person, so if, if I want to okay. get the lightsaber back off uh, Tomax. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I would assume she's not going to give it to him, so... Um, I don't know. Are you, do you want your lightsaber back, Tomax? Hey, if I hey, go back there, I'm going to go after cool, whether though? I have a lightsaber or not. <laughs> it might be a better idea that I not get involved. If you want to go do it, you'd be a true pro, but I'm not going to go over it. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to go and you guys have to delay your flight in a little bit for Coruscant, and then uh, I'll go see if I can talk with Master Mitra. Okay. Um, you flag down one of the uh, troops, <laughs> uh, one of the officers, and you ask for a shuttle to General Mitra, and he arranges it right away. Um, within an hour, you find yourself on her ship, and uh, you are asking to uh, request an audience to see her. Um, she comes out uh, to greet you um, in, uh, let's say, within 20 minutes of you arriving. And she says, yes, how can I help you? Master, I, I was, you know, Tomax really needs his lightsaber, and I was wondering if if I, if I he could have gotten it back. She asks, have the two of you reflected upon today's um, happening? Um, well, he's still kind of mad about the whole situation, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to get over it eventually. I hope so, anyway. That doesn't sound like a satisfactory <laughs> answer. I, well, I mean, I, ca I can't uh, think like he does, so I don't really know what he's thinking right now. But That is understandable, but you have to remember that one of the pillars of the Jedi Order uh -huh. is for peace and justice and to defend the helpless. Very and I hope true. you understand that this action, uh, <laughs> while terrible as it may seem, was for the greater good of the galaxy. Very true. This is not an action that we take lightly or that we decided on a whim. It was a part of an intricate plan uh, that was uh, scheduled for this very specific moment that required the collaboration of the thousands of people um, that involved that ranged from the creation of, of this device to the very execution which you were a part of 
Very true, but you gotta also understand that we are still quite young. We have a lot to learn. We might not see things the way the masses do yet. Which was all the more reason why I would imagine you would listen to the master. Now would that not make sense? Very true. Although I was not asked to press the button. So. <laughs> but I, I did feel a great deal of anger within him. Uh, hopefully I will be able to control him more later on so we can get the anger out and stays on the right path. I'm gonna do my best. Uh, that is most wise of you. Um, I would just like for him to have his lightsaber back. It is our weapon, after all. She... Jedi without a, we a, a Jedi without a lightsaber is no Jedi. She reaches into her tunic and takes out Tomax's lightsaber and hands it to you. And she says, This is not a weapon to take lightly. I Please agree. remind him of the responsibility that is associated when you wield such an item. I'm gonna do my best. And she says, Now, if you'll excuse me, I uh, must get back to my duties. Okay, I bow and leave. Okay, and she leaves as well. And then I guess I go back to the other ship. Uh, yeah. You are now transported back to the main um, uh, Republic cruiser that you were with, and you have now reunited back with the rest of the party. Okay, and I am gonna take out uh, Tomek's lightsaber, hold it in my hand. I'm gonna tell him, don't lose it again. You're a true bro, man. But, but keep, next time... I never would've got it back, because I was trying to... <laughs> <laughs> next time, control your anger. Don't want to see you go into the dark side, man. No comment. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, so, um, you guys ready to head over? To the Jedi Council? Uh, yes. yeah, I suppose. Okay. I'll just follow uh, for now and see what's going to happen out of this. So you're just going to follow? Well, I'm just going to follow Tom and okay. see what he's okay. going to do. Uh, but all four of you are going together? Yeah. Well, Alice is always with me anyway, so... Okay. Uh, so you guys fly over, and you make your way over to um, the Jedi Council. Oh, that was uh, fast! <laughs> Yeah, well, Ice we're going to skip through. It takes, <laughs> you know, some time to travel, but for oh, the sake yeah. of the session. You just hit the fast forward button. Fast forward 20 minutes of you guys playing poker on uh, the ship. Well, it's backgammon, homie. <laughs> I have to go meditate on the events. Or what's yeah. the card game in uh, Star Wars? I forget what they play. Kazak. Yeah, there yeah, I think go. so, something like that. Which I never exactly. really understood, stupid numbers since yet. <laughs> oh, I, I, play, I, play a, I play quite a bit of Pazette. And yeah, wasn't it some, like, animals and then there was numbers on, like, four sides and shit like that? No, no, no. Wasn't it, it was like a it was That's like, triple triad, homie. Yeah. Or is nah, it Final it was Fantasy like a, It was like a game where you, um, you try to get numbers. It was almost like a Blackjack, where you try to get numbers. Yeah. Lower than 20 or close to 20 as you can get without going over. Yeah. I might be confused with Final Fantasy. But you had a card. Yeah, you you're probably confusing it with Triple Triad, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, at least it was a really simple than, game. At least it's better than playing Gwent. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I, ne I can never get into Gwent. Dude, Gwent's so hard. <laughs> Anywho. Okay. Yeah, basically, like Magic the Gathering or something. Um. You guys now find yourself in front of the entrance to the Jedi Council. Is there any of the Jedi Masters that you wish to talk to specifically, or you just no, want to walk in there? Uh, I, don't know. I would Did like we... to talk to uh, my own master first. Well, Your own master... Oh, he's still on... Oh, he's still, okay. uh... still on paid leave. <laughs> okay, so you request to speak to your masters. Um, I assume that the both of you, or just just Tom Max, you just want to talk to yours. Well, I want to talk to mine. Uh, I don't know what uh, Fowl wants to do. Okay, Tomax, your master was uh, Master Zamat, right? Zamat. 
They might. Yeah, they might, yeah. Um, when you talk uh, to the the, pe the the fellow Jedi Knights, uh, they inform you that Master Zaymat is actually on a uh, mission right now, and he is away from this planet. He has been away for about um, several weeks now, and the last time he reported in was about two weeks ago. Is there a way of uh, communicating with? Uh, yeah, can I message? can I try to reach him on a communicator? Like a uh, hologram? No, the the Jedi Knight that you talk to looks kind of like hesitant in giving you any more information he says if you need to contact him um, I suggest you request uh, formally from the in. Jedi Council just send the fax in <laughs> and he'll get back to you yeah leave a voicemail please you'll be put on queue so yeah go to the go, go to the Jedi Council for more information any one in particular we need to speak with? No, just address the council. Okay. I need to change. I think the we list. should probably just do that then. All right, I'll address the council. As you go into the council, um, you see. One second. Why is Corson so nice? It's a very pretty place. Well, the top levels are. Yeah. The bottom yeah, levels true, are like all true. slums and. <laughs> yeah. Well, the top level is what matters. <laughs> Whoa, that's something a top level would say. Yeah, man. That pizza in the sky. You're, you're from the bottom level, aren't you, uh, Mr. Wiggles, or whatever the hell your name is? <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in uh, you know, the shady parts of uh, Narshida. Okay. What kind of you really you do that? A, um, your picture a cat. If you could have a name like Mr. Bigglesworth. Yeah. Well, you could just find an Ewok somewhere. The south side of Narshadal is pretty rough. Really? <laughs> yeah. What kind of things did you do there? Well, I had to do some unspeakable things to get by. It was a... Unspeakable, it, a, you say? It's a horrible That's place. Sounds messed up. Can't, sounds kind of like... Uh... You said you're from Narsida. Yep. How come an Ewok is from Narsida? Uh, my parents left me there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So you find your guys. I feel sad for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a rough life for me. But at least you made it through. At the familiar scene in front of the Jedi Council. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, wow. And you see, I mean, ignore Anakin. <laughs> but you see, yeah, we're a little older the, than that. The standard eight in front of the Jedi Council. console. <laughs> well, I'm actually sitting in my master chair. It looks, it looks like it. That's me. Oh, no greatest bar. slide ever. <laughs> okay, There's, so we're. You see that um, there are five of the. Um, nine seats there um, and there's um, one seat that both the Jedi's immediately notice uh, is missing and that is of um, General Mitra Surik obviously because she was still with the Republic fleet but it serves as another reminder that she is part of this council right yeah obviously yeah um, by the time the four of you reach the Jedi Council, they are very aware of your presence and they know that you come to seek to, um, contact uh, with Master Zaymat. And uh, Yoda addresses you. Actually, Mace. Uh, Mace Windu? Windu is going to address you. You have to speak <laughs> the way Saturday, oh, Jackson speaks as Mace no. Windu. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have. You <laughs> <laughs> Did I break your concentration? What? <laughs> <laughs> and um, he asks you, uh, "What do you? What do you? Why do you seek Master Zaymont? The events that um, recently transpired that we s saw at Malachor have left me feeling lost. 
and I wanted to consult with my masters to help me understand what's going on. Uh, tell me about these events you speak of, young Padawan. Okay, right. So then, <laughs> <laughs> that Jedi I was with, she was like, push the button. And I was like, I don't want to push the button. Like, push the button. Like, I don't want to push the button. So <laughs> then it made the other dude push the button. And then, like, the whole planet got messed up. And every all the ships blew up and everything else. And we barely made it out. So basically, she was trying to make me kill millions of people. <laughs> By That's a short she... side of the story. <laughs> yeah. Are you referring to General Surik? Jedi Master Surik? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and and it was like this weapon that was made that like turns planets into giant green sparkly things and like destroyed all the ships. So basically they slaughtered millions of people, but I'm a Jedi. I'm not supposed to be out there trying to kill people. Not what I, that's not what being a Jedi is all about. <laughs> um, you see that this is bringing up this issue has caused um, a lot of chatter among the Jedi Council in that it seems like there is a great divide among the Jedi Order about the events that recently transpired. Um, in that you can tell that clearly half of them feel that what happened at Malachor was a necessity of war. The other people, the other half, feel that they should have maintained the Jedi Order's official stance of not interfering at all in this war. However, as you're all familiar with, Revan um, has been leading uh, the his small order of uh, his small group of Jedi Knights um, as him and his fellow colleagues felt that they could no longer stand by and let the Mandalores um, let the Mandalorians um, ravage all of these small planets in the outer rims that the Republic are not able to protect and essentially uh, kill and pillage so many planets and it, it is for that reason that Revan and his uh, gang felt like they had to intervene at Malachor to end this once and for all. Um, we have been discussing this ever since we became aware of his plans and we admit that the council itself is at a standstill in terms of how to approach Revan next. However, we have been recently learned um, that um, Revan has already begun the next phase of his personal mission as he is looking to chase down the remaining Sith that were helping the Mandalorians. And from our intelligence, from uh, the other Jedi Knights out there, we know that Revan, Malak, um, Lord Scourge, which is someone you haven't met yet, but you heard the name um, thrown around in conversation, and Jedi Master Mitra, have all are all in the process of traveling to Droman Kas um, in search of the Sith Emperor. We understand that you feel conflicted in all this right now, but we request that you travel to Dromancos to not to intervene on anything, but more as a recon mission to see what is going on. And we need you to be our eyes and ears out there and report back to us with what you find. It's unfortunate that this answer may not be satisfactory to the questions that you came here to seek, but um, for the time being, this is the best. Much fear, I said to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want us to go to a planet and observe? We essentially want you <laughs> to let us know what Revan and his crew are up to. 
So he's no longer reporting back to you what he's up to? He has appeared to... He appears to be conducting missions on his own accord now. And it is slightly alarming for the Jedi Council. We're not sure of Jedi Knight Malak and Jedi Master Mitra's relationship with all this, as well as Lord Scourge. What about our own masters? Your own masters are actually involved in this mission as well. Uh, not um, as part of Revan's group, but they had infiltrated his group uh, to also do reconnaissance just like we are asking you to do now. However, we have not heard from either of your two masters in two weeks and we are not sure uh, of their current whereabouts as of now. Perhaps you may find your answers when you follow Revan to Droman Cass as well. Okay. Well, I guess we know our plan. What about yeah. you, Tomex? Are you calm down now? Ah, right, go. Ferraria. What? What? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm wondering, I guess only Jedi are allowed in here, aren't they? Uh, the other two are not in the council, but they're outside. So they're right, allowed they to just... be outside. Right, okay. So I, I'm not in the chamber? Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's a non Jedi's allowed in there. I don't know. Well, well non Jedi's are allowed in there. It's not they're allowed in there, but right. you weren't allowed for this talk. Right. Well, I'm a droid, so I'm not even I'm not even a person. Yeah, you don't even <laughs> care, I guess. <laughs> You're just standing, standing there <laughs> waiting. Keeping probably something. Do you have any more questions that Jedi, the Jedi Council asked you? Um, um, did you know about the mission before we were sent there? Why weren't we informed about the entire mission before we were sent? Uh, by the time we were aware of it, it was too late to do anything. So, no. So, the Council know. didn't approve of what we're doing. Some, some were for it, some were against it, but it wasn't like a Council-approved mission. No, it was not. So although, does, although so does, Jedi Master Mitra sits on the council. So shouldn't, are y'all going to, um, like, talk with her about it? You know? We have been in contact with her, and <sighs> Wait a we second. will discuss this when she returns. Can't we just, uh... Um, that might be a bad idea, but uh, maybe I shouldn't say it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about Tomex here right now. He's just gonna flip again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before in the movie as well. They can hollow call someone into the Jedi room, right? In the council. Yeah, the chairs have special. They can, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. I don't know, might be a bad idea. Uh, well, you know what, I just whisper it. No, I don't know, never mind. <laughs> they're just gonna ask me to break it. Oh, uh, no. Never mind. I didn't appreciate her trying to get me to murder millions of people. That's, that's just, uh... Trying to trick me into it, you know? I'm just, like, I'm just gonna just say... Just push the button! We're not going to tell you what's going to happen. Just push the button. But I'm also, I'm also, when he says that, I'm going to say to him, but you I also save. I Republic too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm going to say to him when he says that, uh, but you also probably save millions of people. I played Nice Deal Republic too. <laughs> I don't think you can use that as your defense just because you yeah. know like, how it No, I'm just saying, I knew they ain't going to trick me. <laughs> 
Alright, homies, I need to get some nap before work. Uh, so all I right. will step out for t right now. See you guys okay. later. Just uh, see ya. Boys. User disconnected from do you guys want to pause it here, or do you want to keep going? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm good either way, to be honest. Okay. I mean, we can... Let's see. I've got a little bit more story that I can do, and then... Yeah, there's not going to be fighting anymore, right? Yeah, there's Kevin not... Kevin cares about fighting the most anyway, Yeah, so... I won't do any fighting. Exactly, so... Um, let's do... Okay, let's do a little bit of filler story, I guess, after you leave this Jedi yeah. Council. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I said to Tomax, if you heard what I said. Probably well, not, we because can, uh... he was still raging. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, uh, we can go. Don't? Okay, no. Okay, so you guys leave the Jedi Council. Um, you... Uh, yeah, I guess we got upon... a mission, right? Yeah, you got your mission. Now you leave the chamber and you regroup with... I bow, um, of course. ...with uh, Ellis. Um, and the three of you... The bear has gone? Yeah, the bear is like... He found a leaf or That's something. It. <laughs> um... The three of you now are in transport back to the Republic main fleet, um, where you will transfer to a secondary, smaller ship that will take you to Joman Kass. Uh, I assume one of you guys, uh, one of the officers asked if you will need a pilot or if one of you guys will be able to fly the ship. I, I can fly the ship. Okay. Then. Um, <laughs> We're all gonna die! <laughs> it's possible. That's the officer story. turns over. A small shuttle to you and um, he says it'll be ready uh, let's see hold on wait, you got to rejoin I did get ship. my license though however later, rejoin the later main and he says uh, the ship will be ready in a couple of hours um, so while you're killing time you kind of meander through the Republic um, oh don't have the, to roll the pilot no you're not you're okay. not gonna fly we're gonna stop before you fly oh, okay 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 cool um, you guys are, um, what's it, kind of meandering through the Repu the main, um, uh, cruiser, and you're kind of just hearing gossip as you walk through all the different, um, officers and, um, uh, military personnel on board. Um, one thing that I need to make you guys all aware of, which I should have said before Kevin left, was that... In the entire galaxy, um, everyone is hooked up t to the Holonet, which is essentially like the future internet. And so, like with uh, the internet, uh, there are parts of the Holonet which are like um, to the public and legitimate, and then there's kind of also an underbelly where you can find things which would be useful to people like bounty hunters and smugglers and things like that. And Something Kevin would know much about, probably. Right. And so when you are traversing through the holonet, you can sometimes intercept messages um, through um, searching sp specific parameters or going through specific... Um, targeted portions of the holonet like for example uh, air like um sites specifically related to smuggling certain things or sites specifically related to assassination requests or sites related to other like illegal activities it's kind of like a posting board for various illegal okay. activities uh in your um time traveling through you notice that you pass through one of the um, technical officers working on a workstation and he is telling his colleague who is sitting next to him on a computer uh, an, an interesting thing he found um, about uh, an interesting thing he found on the holonet while he was searching terms related to the Mandalorians and the Jedi together as a search word. Um, and he hasn't reported it yet, but he just wanted to show you guys, show 
um, his buddy because it was weird and he had never seen something like this before. Um, you guys, in your curiosity, kind of peek over and you see the following. I don't speak numbers. <laughs> so it makes um, no sense right now. It's obviously encrypted with some sort of program or cipher or something. Um, Maybe I should, and... uh, shouldn't talk with muted mic. Okay. Uh, do I know if Alice has some kind of uh, encrypt decryption thingy? Um, I don't think he took anything like that. Uh, I don't. I don't think there is anything like that, is there? Oh, uh, but he's a robot, so maybe that's something standard, or I, mean, I don't know. It'll it'll be through his use the computer, but I can't remember if there's something specifically for that. I, but I don't you can remember seeing anything like specifically for decryption or anything like that. But um, you can have a crack at trying to decipher it, or you can also whenever you're on, uh, whenever you're near an access terminal, you can always search on the HoloNet using use the computer. Anyone can use use the computer to search on the HoloNet, assuming they have a trained skill. Wait, does, okay, so does Alice has some kind of like memory that he can like, if he sees something that he can like make some yeah. kind of like a screenshot of? Yeah. Yes. So he knows like next time, oh, I need to search for that, etc. Yes. And I could take 20 or whatever to to decrypt it later. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, I would probably whisper to him to take a screenshot of that. So we can decipher that later, maybe. Right here. Ellis doesn't understand the command. <laughs> <laughs> what? Destroy uh, that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just pressing against his chest, I guess, <laughs> to stop him from moving. Um, uh, now what? I don't know. He's about to blow it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, so so what? What options do I have to stop that? I don't know. He's your droid. <laughs> uh. Please command. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, so you need to roll higher than ten. Yes. You that's, understand? That's basically what I'm going with. Okay. So, uh, let's try that one more time. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say it slowly. Take a screenshot of that console. Okay. Work that time. <laughs> Are you doing this because I don't speak the same languages? No, no it's because, because his processor is broken and uh, oh. he's not very good at interpreting orders. <laughs> so before he was about when when he fell before it was about to like push the guy out the way and like hacking to hack into the the terminal. Awesome. <laughs> so I guess yeah, he he took a screenshot then. Yeah, do I have Every to roll can... perception for that? No, you can Probably only use it later. Okay. Cool. From your preliminary estimates, just of seeing it, your processing, your CPU determines that it would take, given a take 20, um, it would take a year to decrypt this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's something <laughs> I did not expect. Well, you already have a broken processor on I me. Mean. Not off to a good start. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you move on, and uh, as Wait, where Var, exactly are we again? You're on this main. You're on the main ship. You're waiting for your small ship to be prepared. Okay. Okay. And, right. and you're just kind of walking through the bridge and various parts of it, um, and you. Uh, you save the day by preventing um, Alice from nearly destroying the, <laughs> the computer. Um, in your walking, though, you run into the first officer 
who is talking with Bauder, uh, the Zabrak who invented the mass shadow generator and the also, one. Yeah. Is it also the same person who pushed the button? He is the same person who pushed the button. All right. He is, uh, they are chatting together as they are walking along. They um, are walking right in front of you. You guys just realized it after you took the screenshot and you started walking again, that you're actually right behind them. And um, you kind of, as you're walking, uh, eavesdrop on what they're saying. And okay. mostly because it, your atten they caught your attention because they started talking about Revan, which no one in terms of at least the Jedi Council, um, no one knows what he's up to exactly right now. Um, from your travels from the Jedi Council back to the Republic, it's been um, a couple days. So since you last saw Revan, it's been at least maybe a week, a week and a half. <coughs> something like that. Uh, in that time, um, you hear Bowder, the Zabrak, who pushed the button and invented the device, uh, talk very excitedly and very um, in a paced fashion, meaning he's like stammering and he's like talking at like 200 words per minute about how Revan invented this amazing new droid. Um, and it's supposed to be a revolutionary thing uh, in terms of um, military design. It's got all this great technology on it, and it's something even a Zabrak can appreciate. Uh, and um, he heard that Revan uh, had been working on this for various models, some like forty some prototypes before, and he before getting the final configuration just right to be like the ultimate machine, something that'll make every droid currently um, in existence uh, envious and uh, he heard that uh, Revan I hope not is calling this droid HK-47 thought so no I don't <laughs> want to fight him <laughs> at this point um, they notice you guys kind of like walking really close behind them <laughs> and they kind of stop to stare at you a little bit and They're then right they, what? <laughs> and then loud. they scurry away off. Talking all loud. You gotta control your anger. <laughs> 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 oh, I can see this turning out to be really bad in the end, <laughs> or really awesome. Um, well, did you, I, Josh, did you explain yeah. it what happens when he goes full dark side? I haven't done anything yet. dark side. He hasn't done anything yet. Well, well, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I didn't do anything dark side. He had a lot of anger in you. He has <laughs> anger, yeah. to reach the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> He'll at least yeah, get a point for dark side point for that already. <laughs> well, I don't get dark side points for being angry. Oh, probably not. It, it's It's like getting there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so as soon as the two guys scuttle off, um, you hear uh, an another officer coming, running up uh, behind you, and sure. he, he says, um, he addresses the, the three of you, and, and sa well, the two of you. He ignores the droid. Um, <laughs> right, that makes sense. <laughs> and he says, um, Sirs, your your ship is ready. It'll be available in uh, dock two whenever right. you, whenever you can. Uh, I gotta take the dog up. Okay. Okay. We can actually end at this point, and um, we'll start up at the next. Yeah, we start right in front of dock two. Yeah, okay, it works for me. Uh, yeah, works for me. Unfortunately, but. Uh... Okay. Anyone want to do the outro? Nope. <laughs> For you. Great, okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been Dran on TKMR Gaming with as far as Bex, uh, Magatsi, and Kayuna. These names are way too hard to say. You need to, like, pick better names. Well, how about you just say the, re the real name? Who cares, anyway? Well, oh. I guess, but it's just. Wait, Kevin is back. Well, no, he's not. Team Freak, anyway. User joined your Fuck channel. you, Dran! <laughs> what? <laughs> User I thought he went to sleep or something.
Uh, well, that was weird. <laughs> Oh, I have well. no idea what that was about. <laughs> Nor do I. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll catch you next time.